It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant force positively Yep, Charlemagne the God here. Uh, my guy Andrew Schultz. I think Andrew, he's in Montreal, right? Yeah. He's in Montreal. Well, um, this this episode of the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. You can turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind, with beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's start the show. Now, Andrew isn't here. My guest today was supposed to be uh, this podcast called Girls We Fucked. No, it's not Girls We Fucked. <laughs> Guy, guys Next Door. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on. The Guys Next Door podcast with Mac Jones. I mean, Mac Wiles. I've been drinking tequila, man. It's, it's National Tequila Day. I know. I know. It's National Tequila Day. What happened to, what happened to, today is National Tequila what Day. Black House. <laughs> exactly and E40 came with some liquor man I don't know why I did it man I'm regretting it I got a family and I'm doing this stupid shit but Mouse Jones Mac Wilds and how you pronounce homie's name? Fly Ride Fly Ride but just as Mouse is here well you know Beyonce um <laughs> 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 we're being honest um, but also you know your trusty That's um, not niece me. Uh, Taylor dropped the ball well so. Taylor, it's not that Taylor drops the ball; it's just that she calls her own place. Oh, oh. Okay. oh so, no, no, no. Got you. so that's why Carla and Manny are here. Hey, Hello. because What's up, I didn't know they were going to be here, <laughs> and I'm like, well, where's Mouse in the gang at? <laughs> and there's no Mouse in the gang. You know, I literally was wrapping up at the gym. I look at my phone and said. I said, "Oh, Charlotte, like he already curved me. Like what he hit me for?" <laughs> and he like, "You coming?" I said, nigga, nobody's talking. <laughs> 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 the first thing Taylor did, throw Taylor under the bus. Well, Taylor did not hit nobody. I said, all right. I, I say, I say, I'm gonna tell Taylor to tell you the time. He didn't tell me shit. Taylor, she told me they got a group text. Y'all got a group chat what that's popping that? where y'all like, talk about all of this stuff. That's a fact. Y'all send the memes. Nothing. 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 She was like, put me in. She was like, you want to be in the group chat? I was like, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't invited to begin with. So I don't nah, want to. Me, you, and, and Shows got a group chat. Gotta, that is true. That shit alone. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> they stopped texting so me. Anyway. Wait, wait, I know I'm the bottom. T- I know I'm the bottom. T- you were the Michelle right there. There's You're too the- many group <laughs> chats, bro. Oh, ho, 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 Yo, Yo, I don't even know who Farrah is. Who is Farrah? Or is Bond? Yeah. She didn't want to, they said, pack your bags, sis. Uh, um, they'll be waiting for you. Just leave. I don't leave even know who Farrah look like. That's crazy. Light skin, I, she got Farrah, light, light skin with pretty remember. eyes. Like, if you said to Farrah Franklin right now, like, Yo, you remember you used to be in Dungeon Shots? She'd be like, huh? <laughs> Yo, she probably hates that. She probably gets that a lot, too. Was she, kid, what what kid, was she on? Like, nothing. Uh, uh, she was more like in the... Uh, She's before bills, bills, bills. She was bills, bills, bills. The right problem before was, yeah, just her and Beyonce ain't getting along. She was in Say My Name. She was Say My Name. She's in the Say My Name video. Now really? We've seen her. Yeah. She don't sing, though. That's it. She was in there. She was probably a stacked vocal. Taylor, you don't have a microphone. <laughs> you invited <laughs> two people, it's three people, it's four of us, and you still want to talk to me, Diddy. <laughs> she did. Jesus. Yo, you should have seen her when I did waxing and podcast. She's took wild crazy. Oh, here she go. Speaking of what? We got something for you. What did I tell you, Taylor? Call her own place? I don't know <laughs> yo, what she's doing. Yo, oh. she is the worst quarterback ever. I don't know what she. T- I heard about She just be it. calling audibles. Speaking of what? He has a voicemail. Nah, I don't want no voicemails. Look. <laughs> we, we got a voicemail. Where's the voicemail? This is not this podcast. Yeah. This you is the play from your idiots. phone. Nah, we're going to play it. Taylor, produce. Pull the phone up on the computer. <laughs> the call. <laughs> you mean to tell me you had it pre planned to play from your phone? I just because want, this was loading. I just okay. want you to know this is the setup. Well, this is always the setup when I come on here. I, well, when it just always up? goes left. Well, when it and loads, then the next episode, they have yeah. some super deep up. conversation. Is it loading? Yeah, it's loading. It's still loading? Manny, I didn't recognize you when I saw you. Don't, don't do this that. I'm serious. I know. He went to give me... Word up. I ain't seen you in forever, and I'm like... you keep saying I You lost mad weight. Oh, yeah, I know I did. Word is born. I know I did. It's okay to say now that you lost the weight, you were big as hell. <laughs> Can't say that when you got the weight on Charlotte, you. Charlotte, she would be like, "Why are my friends didn't tell me I was big? Who the fuck was gonna tell you you was big? Lord no, I was, big as fuck. Don't I was do waiting. I was waiting. I bet you was pretty big though. <laughs> 
<laughs> not pretty big, like pretty, pretty big, big, like a pretty beautiful big, big <laughs> woman. <laughs> yeah. <she was> both. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I ain't gonna hold you. Me and Mandy friends. There was a moment where we wasn't, yeah. and I was just waiting for her. Waiting. Back. I'm like, I said, play with me. Like she would, she would take me there. But you know, I'm wild and all. But I was like, I'm like, yo, she got one more. Yo. She got one more joke. Nah, in real she life. got one more. She got one more attack before I call him Nah, Charlotte came up to me with the handshake. I said, nigga, he said, oh, stranger. I, really didn't, I didn't even recognize her. I'm like, oh, shit. For your birthday, she was looking for a picture to post. She's like, damn, that don't even nah, look I was like that in that picture. So I could... <laughs> it's not about you. No, shit. I don't know how I give a fuck. It was Charlotte's birthday. I said, oh, nah, bitch, I ain't posting that picture. All your Throwback Thursdays mad inspirational no, now because you post the big picture of you. <laughs> You're like, my journey has come so no, far. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you. What made you lose the weight? What, what made you finally um, say, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna get rid of this. Jesus Christ. You see what I mean? Look, I want to sound inspirational when I say this. No, I mean, but living in New York, I couldn't like wear boots. I wasn't wearing jeans. Everything had spandex. Mm. And I just got to the point where I was like, okay, I can't lipo this shit away. My face, I have three necks. So you did. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> It's Don't co sign that. It's all reality. Nah, no, but I mean, it was just more so for my health. I had graduated school. Dope. It was in my last semester, and I was like, you know what? Let me let me live right. So I actually had the gastric sleeve. So I had the weight I don't loss surgery. I is had that? the weight loss surgery. They took okay. away 80% of my stomach. Really? So now I have like forced portion portion control when I eat. I eat my food and her food. She'll eat both of our food. Hey, it's man. great. Yeah, I so it. I feel great. I'm down 80 pounds. I, yes. You could have lied to me and told me you turned vegan and I would believe you. I ain't know nothing about the gas. <laughs> oh, no, nah, I like oxtail and bacon too much. Okay. I ain't going to get it. But, you, but don't you got to work out to make sure it don't come back? Um, Yeah. No, uh, I ain't got there yet. I ain't got in the half. gym yet. I'm finna get in the gym. <laughs> I haven't gotten in the She's gym. She's lying. I'm not lie I've been going for a month and a half and she won't come with me. To the gym? Because she yes. uses my face. She's using my fucking <laughs> which I think card to get Which I think is racist. Oh, my. Why is it racist? And it's racist. Yeah. How? All y'all look alike now? She so said to we me, did not she say said, that. we're light skinned. Go ahead, use my thing. We look alike. So I put I put shades on when I walk in the gym with her car and I hey, go. You're right not in. tripping on no, you're not checking on that. They call me they did call me one time. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm like, fuck, I'm about to have, I'm gonna have to pay. But And if they follow me. you on Instagram, they think you're working out because you're losing all the weight. Yeah. So no, I'm, I'm, very, she ain't no workout I'm very transparent. That's how I knew she got I'm very I'm very transparent though with that. You shut the fuck up now. She didn't say that. Everybody that do the fake workout shit, there's at least one picture. A week in no, the gym. No, the one time she did go cycling, she posted about four posts about the cycling. I did. I went. I went. I went full cycling one time. I was like, ooh, before, after I showed my sweat, I was all happy about that. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Thank I, you. I think it looks good. Thank you so very much. So what, y'all don't do the um, horrible decisions no more. No, of course. I actually just quit my job for it. Okay. So I'm no longer an accountant. See, I can't really tell what's going on because it looks like you and Carla is a team now. So <laughs> and y'all done kick <laughs> Weezy to the curb, which is. <laughs> Don't do that. That's what it seems like. No, don't do that. Am I bugging don't do that. No, don't do this. <laughs> this happens to me. Yeah, it does. And then you don't got to hear it. I got to hear it. I got to so, I mean, Carla's, Carla's one of my best friends. She moved up from Florida for okay. the summer. She has the Shit I'm 30 podcast. So we're just creating together. I left my job, so she's teaching me how to like edit audio, videos. Like She knows all of that stuff. It so. seems like you and Carla are really friends. You and Weezy just business at this point. Yeah, that's accurate. Oh, we're, we're we're business partners. I love what I do with horrible decisions. <laughs> I think me and her balance off of each other well. What is this a sore spot or something? I don't know. No, it. I don't know. Look, don't, don't look at me. Don't Stop looking creaking. at me. Stop looking don't at me. Don't be creaking. Like Weezy and I create great content together. Horrible decisions isn't yeah. going anywhere. Um, I think that we work well together. It's just she's staying with me for the summer, so we get drunk and have fun together. You know what? Actually, instead of talking about this, I'm curious as to why your co-hosts weren't involved with your little um, exonerated five interview. You've seen oh, a really good friend. <laughs> You seem to really be taking this Beyonce thing to the next level. Ooh. And I want to know why Mac and Flyright were not a part of that interview. That's fine. Instead of getting on horrible decisions, this was supposed to be Guys Next Door and Charlemagne. So I want to know why your co-hosts like your were friends. not a part Go of this ahead, goddamn do interview. All right. You're, you're this really is a big interview. That's a good question. Yeah, you're really going to give me that so, You're really going to give me that So what's the backstory, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> no. I just, I would like no, to know No, fill him in so that way I can answer the question. So um, one of the members from the Exonerated Five have had Shout the wonderful, Santana. had the wonderful, you know, um, pleasure of being interviewed by the guys next door except it was just guy next door Ooh. Um, and it was just mouse I didn't see Mac I didn't see Fly Right I just didn't know what was going on in this podcast realm over here Beyonce would you like to retort <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, first and foremost uh, my group we handle our business on all fronts so uh, at the time I was actually on tour 
uh, with Trap Karaoke, <laughs> greatest show on earth. Um, so I happen to be in Atlanta where Raymond Santana resides. Uh, Mac, uh, Mac was, were the flights canceled uh, to Atlanta? I got this, thanks. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mac, was, Mac, was, uh, Mac was shooting. Okay. Uh, shout out to him in uh, the Tales episode that just dropped. He was shooting that. Ryan was in LA handling business with Dreamville. So uh, I was. So I just made an audible, but way better play than Taylor does. Um, made a, <laughs> made a on-field call. <laughs> it was, can you relax? Can you relax? Can you relax? Can you relax? You, relax? you did what was the um, best for the team. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can, and it I can, came, I can it with came out as God Next Door. It wasn't Mouse Jones and... It's a Guys Next Door interview. It's on the Guys Next Door page. It's all okay. going through Guys Next Door. It was within the spectrum of, hey, this is an episode of Guys Next Door. So, all right. Listen, um, I just want to tell y'all, when Mandy sits down to binge watch her favorite <laughs> TV shows, our uh, catch the newest episode of Brilliant Idiots, she says it's always better with a pint of Ben and Jerry's. All right. So cozy up with your favorite flavor. What's your favorite flavor, Mandy? <laughs> Cheesecake. Cheesecake. <laughs> All right. Hard <laughs> <laughs> Available anywhere ice cream is sold. Treat yourself to your favorite flavor anywhere ice cream is sold. Or find the new favorite at binjerry.com. That's B-E-N-J-E-R-R-Y.com. And guys, now you know the way to Mandy's heart. Get us some Cheesecake Ben and Jerry's <laughs> ice cream. And she she may hit you back in those DMs. All right. Everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds. But before, everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds. But before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. All right. Salute to my guy Ray J. If you've seen Ray J on the Breakfast Club uh, a million times, because he's been there a million times. Uh, around 2015, he started coming up there with Raycon products. So he got the earbuds, he got the speakers, he got the headphones, and Raycon earbuds started about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing. All right. The company was co-founded by my guy Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg are already obsessed all right Raycon's E50 wireless earbuds have totally changed the game they're so comfortable and so easy to take anywhere unlike some of your other wireless options Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems and of course they don't just look great they sound great too all right Raycon offers their wireless earbuds for everyone in a range of fun colors at an unbeatable price so go to buyraycon.com slash brilliant idiots to get 20 percent off your order it's kind of hard not to support this especially when you know it's owned by a black man a black man named ray j who has given us countless uh, minutes of entertainment throughout his life so how can you not support him that's buy raycon.com slash brilliant idiots for 20 percent off raycon wireless earbuds if you've been eyeing a pair now is the time to get an amazing deal one more time buy raycon.com slash brilliant idiots now let's get back to the show <laughs> okay, Taylor, Taylor, this better be good. Okay, because okay, we got topics to get to. Things, things that yeah. Taylor finds funny, nobody else finds funny, so we'll see. She's smiling big, too. She knows it's going to be real funny. Yeah, this is what you get. She got mad. What she is this? This is a voicemail this about voice Mouse mail. Jones. Don't do that. Mouse, whatever the fuck his name is, that corny ass. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Don't oh, shit. Don't put that motherfucker back on that show no more. Y'all just fucked up the show. <laughs> Mouse, whatever the fuck his name is, that corny ass guy, bro. Don't put him back on that motherfucking show. He talk like a girl. He got a girly mouth. The smart ass mouth, girly ass shit. I always got something smart to say. He disrespecting the people that call in right off the bat. He's super tough. Come up where I am, bro. You wouldn't be welcome. Nigga, you, you do too much, bro. I'm just speaking that shit as a fan. Like y'all tripping with that shit, man. Don't put no corny ass people back on no motherfucking podcast, man. When y'all trying to get y'all shit off the ground. He mad. Corny ass motherfucker. <laughs> that shit corny as fuck. Don't do that shit no more. <laughs> you you know, fuck this girl. Fuck did that shit, man. Put that lame ass nigga back on that shit. Talking that is slick he ass shit. Is he <laughs> you talk, boy. You talk like a girl, nigga. That girly be... ass mouth you got. All that gippity yap. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Fuck, boy. Oh, he from Florida. That's all I have to say. You guys have a great day. <laughs> you know, fun, man, besides that. I, mean, I thought I was about to hear about some. Right, some I thought pregnant. Mouse had somebody pregnant. Girl, you smashed the white girl. Didn't call her back. Nah, that, I don't why, that was only one of. But like, why are you allowing voicemails from Florida men? Oh, <laughs> fuck, boy. Uh, but that, oh, that's poof, definitely back no, to my state. Why? Yeah, if you're not having that kind of impact on people, you're not doing your job. I'm not even gonna hold you. Say that shit that's again. That's a good opinion. Like, say that I, shit again. Ain't, comp- ain't complimenting my mouth. <laughs> That was crazy. He that kept calling crazy. his girly mouth over and over and but over actually, again. But at first, I was like a fake offender, but by the third time, I'm like, girly mouth. Well, he you. was he was looking at that mouth. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, thank you. He, he really liked them little mouth. Listen, here goes the thing. I don't trust anyone who cares that much to leave a comment or a voicemail. Word. Like if you are like, that invested, I'm not the corny one. And on the loop. Yeah, but 
If you have enough time, I listen to the show. I don't leave voicemails. I listen to the show. I don't leave comments. Like, I don't have time. Like, I'm doing something. I'm, I'm doing other shit. Booked and busy. Say that shit. Right. I mean, right. <laughs> I, don't even, I, I don't even know why Taylor called that play just now. I don't I know why. Yo, <laughs> you, you ever watch Last Chance? I don't know why that route was Y'all right. watch Last Chance You? No. Y'all got to watch oh, the show on Netflix. Netflix. It's Netflix. about It's about, like, they cover these two uh, JUCOs. These two junior colleges, like, the best ones in the in the country. Taylor would be on that show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this show is you saying she's a good JUCO coach? No, she's a okay. terrible fucking JUCO coach. Oh. All, the, and all, the, all the kids be turning on her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you fucking up my... F- what did y'all make you say, though? <laughs> it's what? not hate or you're not doing your Nobody, job? No, there's, there's, no, no, it's a good... Listen, it's Taylor, a good opinion. A, that's my, not your job to talk, Taylor. Your job is to so. Okay. Your title... Wait okay. till afterwards. All right. You talk a lot shit on the podcast, but don't wait till you after. My thing is, whatever you're doing, somebody should have some type of feeling about it. Of course. You 100%. know what I'm saying? Whether they have a good feeling about it, bad feeling about it, as long as you make me feel something. And make you call in. If yes. It, if, it took the, if they called in, they felt something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, them negative comments be fueling me, baby. Yes. Damn, I'm taking that time out your day. Cool. Now, listen, I want to ask y'all a question. Go ahead. Y'all know who Antoine Fuqua is? Yes. Director of yes. Training Day? You know who Nicole Murphy is? Beautiful, yes, 52 sure year old, aging like wine out here. Now, you saw this picture. She Family was. friend, my ass. <laughs> right. Well, listen, first of all, always remember black men don't cheat. Oh. So I don't know what the context of this picture is, okay? Could be for a movie. Could be for a movie. Mm. He could be teaching her how to kiss for a role. <laughs> I'm serious. No, kissing in a movie and kissing in real life is two different things. That's what I'm saying. Okay. This could be Photoshop. That's what we're doing. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what this is. All I'm simply saying is I don't know the context of this picture, but her statement, she says that they are really just friends. And that's his, That's her family friend. What's crazy is I just had this conversation mm-hmm. um, with a group of people. And Carla and I both agree that if you do anything sexual with a man, you can no longer consider him a friend. That's I don't know true. what the title is. No, I swear to God. So here, you know, check me you out You here. can't consider him a friend. You can't just say to your significant other, that's just my a friend. friend. That's a fact. There you so go. It can be your fact. friend because I have yeah. exes that are friends, but you can't be like, oh, babe, that's just a friend. He, You just sucked his dick a couple months ago. Yeah. So you agree. can't say just a friend. So that was kinda, my point. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, I've, 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 me I've fucked friends, but they're not like, I can't bring them around because like right. my wife knows I fucked them. So, of course. I mean, so, yeah. so you're open with everyone you fuck, but that's what I'm saying. Like for the people who fuck someone in the past and then maybe continue a friendship, if you bring them around anyone that you're currently dating, I don't think you Just should let them consider know. that person a Which friend. Is Just a friend. You cut them off. And don't bring that drama around. Absolutely. So you cut everyone off that you've ever had sex with once you get into a relationship? I don't really be fucking with them like that in the first place. Oh, hell. We know. You be stealing out of purses. Yeah, Jesus they Christ. Don't, they don't want you around. Yo, I've never, ever stole out of a purse. That's the crazy part. Oh, it was on the counter. It was on the fucking counter. <laughs> like, let the shit go. Did you ever give her the money back? No. Oh. You didn't? He said the pussy she was trash. Child. So she oh she should have paid you. Oh, why took food out of that child's mouth. She paid mouth? you for your time. Thank you. I understand. Like, what Y'all do this shit, especially you. You be on that fucking podcast selling mad drawers. Like, that, what's oh. the problem? I be selling what? You be selling drawers. But they're giving the money. Pussy. She's not taking any money. <laughs> do guys want to fuck you more now that you're skinny? Because the dudes used to be on you. You know when you what? Were Can I be honest? They, no, they like me D- plump. Really, Charlotte. You was plump. <laughs> yeah, Say no. What it was. I'm not gonna hold you. So she wasn't I, fat as fuck. She was I mean, plump. No, I Mandy used to be fat. Pleasantly plump. That was it. Was before. It's because she's little. It's because she's little. She looked bigger. Because okay. people think she's taller when they yeah, say that. Yeah, you she, look, she used to look like a compressed foot. file. <laughs> by the way, by the way, you I'm like you know you drag the shit down too. Much. <laughs> slight, slight file cabinet. Slight, <laughs> slight file cabinet. So listen, it, 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 it depends on region no, too. No, no, shut. Because I could have took you down south and they'd have loved you. No, so that's still the way. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like all my all my old niggas be like, all right, bitch, stop losing weight. Like yeah, yeah, I done yeah, had yeah. guys say, all right, before you drop all that weight, sit on my face one more time. Like niggas liked when I was bigger. <laughs> Try to kill me like, one more no, time. My, my so did, <laughs> wait, so do you feel like wait, wait, so like you feel, BDSM. wait, so do you feel like you was fetishized? I one hundred percent was more fetishized. Like as soon as as soon as I started losing weight, it, they were just like, "But why are you doing this?" Like, no, but it was it also led to like a lot more insecurity about me. But I also hate about admit, you, yeah, because to me, I was I literally felt like niggas don't admit when they like big bitches. If I'd have shown you some of the texts I used to get about you and the oh. niggas that was sending them, you'd be like, oh. Oh, but it's because oh. I was big. But they would. I used to look at niggas like, yo, I, 
But then, but then they'll go on the timeline and talk about, but would y'all fuck this girl? Would y'all let her sit on your face? And like, it's like, yes, the fuck you y'all just would. Did it and you just fucked me. And no, shit. but that's what I'm saying. I felt like niggas would Maybe like want to fuck. Maybe like even special. one, no, guys used to be like, I just want to fucking see if I can handle it. What? Yeah. Like, what? Try, it's not like knowing that big woman vagina is so shallow. Oh my god! First what? off, I be taking dick. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Calm the fuck down. And there we go. It was only that. I just want to know how. Just like Cardi said, fat girl pussy the best. Pussy, so I still got fat girl pussy, even though I lost How my weight. Cardi know? I know. Yeah, she know. That I is mean, very true. Okay, that is. That's valid. what I'm saying. Rapper, yeah, like rap is what I'm saying. Rap lyrics. You know be what? Lying, nah, bro. it's because she probably got cheated on with mad fat bitches, even though she was in the club with her little six pack and her fat uh, ass. You can't say Niggas fat bitches. Che- That's a she, harsh combination. Well, as a former, well, as a former, as a former fat, fat bitch, she can say it. Former one. As a former fat bitch, I am all here for body. A former, as a former fatty, you can. You know, as a former big ass bitch, I could actually. Isn't it? But doesn't it feel good to be able to laugh at this now? I mean, no. Really? Damn. Yes, it does. You know what? Don't no. Yes, you know what? No. You know what? I I noticed that about like bigger people, like the psych. <laughs> the psych- <laughs> this, no. The, the, the hand, their psychology. The hand. Their psychology. Your mind state stays. In, so in I'm, the like, minute, so I'm not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. To you. So I I just started reading your book. I'm very very in because Which one? So, I have two. Um, shook one. Okay. Let know. So you know, Amazon, <laughs> humble flex. Um, but prior to quitting my job and after losing all this weight, I did have like a huge sense of anxiety, and I even told my friends like, so right now with quitting my job and going full fledged creative, I have the anxiety of going back being broke. Like I grew up food stamps, Section Eight. Like I didn't right. never had money, but that's also another part of me where my anxiety now is feeling like I'll ever go back to being that big. Ooh. So like the anxiety now that I have, like even when I eat, I'll be like, oh shit, tomorrow I gotta do just protein shakes. Cause I can't ever allow She'll literally myself wake to, up and drink a protein shake. I'm not sure we're eating eggs. just to keep myself because, but it's also just the form of I was 230 pounds at one point. Jesus so Christ. to have been that size, you shut the I'm fuck sorry. up. And I was sitting on face, nigga. But to have been that size, there's a huge anxiety level of just going back. I feel you. So yeah, it's it's helping me. Like I've, I've what is the four? What's the the book I just got? Four agreements. Sorry. The four agreements. Oh, I'm the doing four it. Agreements. Yeah, so I'm doing yeah, like a good. lot. Did you, re- did you finish it already? No, I have. I'm still on the first one. Uh, all, so. I, 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 <laughs> You're still on the first I, agreement. So I, I've been busy, so I ain't get I ain't got flown out in a while. So I read books when I get flued out if I don't sleep. Four so, agreements is a quick read pounds, too. You've had puts and pounds back on. No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so when they was flying you out, they was buying two the two seats. Nah, they're flying, <laughs> no, no, no. They were flying our cargo. <laughs> 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 FedEx and UPS. Cannot free. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I knew, I knew Mandy was different because Mandy, my people. So when she was fat, she never put that leg up in the seat. Don't now, Mandy be having that leg up in the seat. I be like, she still got so much mobility. Don't do that. All she do is wear You be doing now. yoga soon. Don't do that. She wear that highs in the summer. She's like, I can fit these bitches on. Ooh, she put yeah. them on Yo, in the summer. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you when I knew it was different. I hosted, shout out to the Horrible Decision Show. They be bringing me out on the road to host. Thank you. We hosted a show in DC. Oh, yeah. Mandy had an outfit change mid-show. I, I just knew she was going to change the outfit. I didn't know what the fuck was about to happen. <laughs> yeah. Mandy leaves the stage <laughs> and comes back in like a fishnet something. Latex. And there was so outfit. much of Mandy that I'd never seen before. <laughs> wow. I would have been comfortable never seeing again. Wow. But I said, oh, she really like... <laughs> oh, she really not fat no more. Oh, that's when you first realized it. Yeah, because before, if this, was, if this was her doing this a year prior, <laughs> it would have looked like, like you know who it, caught the whale. In the fish <laughs> I'd have been like, save the turtles. <laughs> I would have never ate. An, I would have never used another plastic straw. No, if this is what they look like. <laughs> You weren't that big. We, we gassing it though. We gassing it. You weren't that big. We gassing she it. Was I mean, I was big. I was she was big. No, she was not. It's okay to say people She was fat. pleasantly plump. <laughs> it depends on who is being pleasant for. <laughs> just, know, just know it don't matter what size uh, a woman is she pulling all these niggas and any nigga right. listening to this cause I know it's a whole bunch of y'all y'all be fucking fat bitches it's just time to admit this and shit also, the same way men are admitting to now eating ass let's go ahead and admit that y'all are fucking eating fat ass bitches for seven they wouldn't admit it though they, they, really? nobody in I, hell just, I, I just admitted it you, he just he admitted just. it when did you when did, first of all when did you first eat ass we'll get back to you in a minute full corp I was I was like <laughs> listen when did you when did you full corp full corp when did you when did you when did you <laughs> he took the ass out of his friend. Pumps. Bro. Pumps. Oh, I thought you said full court plump. I did, but don't worry about it. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all hit shit. When did you start eating uh, ass? Okay. All right. Damn. All right. First time I ate ass. 
I was apologizing. What? <laughs> oh, you was, oh, you got you got you fucked up. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. my baby mother. I was like, oh damn, I'll eat your ass tonight. <laughs> she like looked at me. She was like, what? I said, nah, I'm eat your ass tonight. <laughs> it was awkward because I thought that's all you're supposed to do. So I was just <laughs> at my face on her ass for like 30 minutes. And, and that's the crazy thing about eating ass because there's no end to it. Like, it's not like she's going to climax it. Right. I, like I'm just saying, like, uh. When is, yeah, when is enough enough? You just then, go back up to the and then, and then after that, you know, it, only on birthdays. <laughs> why, why do men act like they're afraid to eat ass? Everybody's they, birthday? No, I was. Af- no, not Why are you afraid to admit eating ass? No, for, I was afraid to eat ass. Okay. <laughs> Then after that, I was like, oh, you can't tell nobody about this. <laughs> That's my ass in your face. Yeah. And I talk a lot of shit. No pun intended. So it's like, at any given time, you'd be like, ah, you ate ass. I was like... Men go through <laughs> phases, man. I remember being young, not eating pussy. Uh, we and, talk, and we just talked and about, we just talked about and men wouldn't even admit to yep, eating pussy. And my older cousin used to be like, you don't eat pussy? You know, wait till you get older. And then he was like, when you get our age, you're going to be eating ass. That's, that's what exactly I said. So it's only, it's only a moment of what? time before so you start next? admitting fingers. So what's like next? all of this, y'all will start admitting as time goes on and things that are taboo become no longer taboo. I don't think every man wants a finger in their ass. They don't. don't not every no man finger. wants don't a finger, no finger, but they taking it. Everybody tried it after American they, Pie. No, you, um, my asshole has never been touched and it never will. Well, be. you're no. only thirty. <laughs> Give it a chance, and and when so you, it'll get at forty. Oh, when he gets older, when he how long you been with your girl? Uh. You better be right. She gonna hear this. <laughs> <laughs> you better be right, right on the spot. A uh, few months. Oh yeah, Wait, you can't let her finger you in the ass. Yet. No, it's been no, months. Not it's a, been a few months. Not a year. No. Yeah, you can't let her. Shout out, shout out to your girlfriend. So any any girl like listening, he is off the market because his girlfriend is dope as fuck. So dope. I love her. No, nah, she's black. She's black. Okay, okay. Chocolate melanin. Mm. Boss woman. Beautiful. Yeah, there's no loyalty on this podcast at all. She is going on the mic. She's great. No. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now first of all, now just calm the fuck down. First of all, give me head and she deep throat. That's what Carla just said. First of all, oh you're not going to get on this podcast in front of these listeners <laughs> and say on the mic she's great. Let's, let's relax. There's a lot of mics. We've been, yeah. I've been with my wife 22 years. So it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just like you, a lot of those times it's because I fucked up. So when you fucked up, you kind of right. at the mercy of your, your queen. You know what I mean? Especially if you ain't got no money. Absolutely. Mm. You ain't got no money. If I, I ain't got no money, so I gotta eat that. Nah. Hi, Michaela. <laughs> Who called you in here? Hi. Taylor, right? She went to come in. Nope. Yeah. Taylor, call him, please. <laughs> <laughs> call him, please. Michaela, what up, y'all? <laughs> so listen, you ate ass. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And you're admitting it. Yeah. That's good. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's, it's not about. an everyday thing. Let's not get crazy. Carla, Mandy, do y'all look at guys funny when they eat your ass? Like, just rant. Like, not guys. It's crazy. I like looking at so my, I don't like my it. ass eight. Really? Yeah, no, I'm not a, I don't like my ass eight. Not even as a form of disrespect. But I don't like head. Oh, so as a form of disrespect for sure. You don't like head? I don't like head at all. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, I know. I Every girl don't Was know Was it why. because maybe the guys used to have to lift <laughs> your stomach up? But now that the stomach is gone, you might enjoy it more? First off, I always had a little waist. Calm that okay. down. I ain't, okay. had, I ain't had no big old stomach like that. But you don't like head. I don't like head. It just does nothing for me. Really? Yeah. And I and I deal with girls too. Like from girls and guys, I just don't want head. Really? Yeah. It's like we talked about what the, the whole nipple thing. What the fuck are you thing. doing with women? So do you orgasm? I, so I give head. I love giving head, but I don't like receiving it. Do you orgasm? Yes. The majority through, of women don't through, orgasm through, through penetration. Penis. Wow. That's how I orgasm. So you're like the Salvation Army of... Uh, Here we go. So never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a giver. Do you look at guys different when they eat your ass, Carla? I don't enjoy it. But if I want to be here, you're going to disrespect me. I'm like, but you ate my ass. Oh, no, no, don't do that. That's a no, problem. No, no, let her go. No, no, let her be honest about her shaming. No, you want to talk shit, but you ate my ass. Oh, I say right. that all the time. Yeah, for real. It's, it's absolutely. When, yeah. That's why you should let a guy do it. Yes. So when he try to flex on you later, like, oh, your pussy whack, whatever, your pussy stink, yeah, but you ate my ass. But you paid my bills. So, same shit. I'd rather Man, be that. Really well, Man- Mandy, you have a little different. What? High, you <laughs> always, a little different That's with not, you. You'd be like, ah, I fucked you. You'd be like, wait, time out. <laughs> Like you was a fat woman putting putting it in niggas' asses. Like, Dog, calm down. We're not, what in niggas' this asses? This is not. This is oh, dicks. This you is, was sodomizing niggas. No, yes, you was. Yes, I don't that, like the sodomy word. She still does. That's it. what it was. That's the term for it. Yeah. You know, what do you call it? Words pegging. Mean thing. It was just a little pegging. Uh, so you was pegging That's, people. Why are we talking about this? This is not the horrible decision show. This is brilliant idiots. Let's get into. I just want to know how do you encourage Shit. a man to peg? <laughs> I mean, like how do you to, how do you talk a man to doing that? You gotta go to. No, I mean, so again, this is it. All has to do with getting a man comfortable with you. Letting, making him feel comfortable to the point where he know that you're not going to fucking shame him yeah, for I just, letting I him. I don't find it attractive to bend over a man or have well, him put I his do. legs up in the I air want his, his legs ass. up, That's all just, of that. Yo, That's Sean, fine. I don't like yo, that shit. What if 
she got to do it like niggas be doing. Yo, you going to let me put the head in? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put the head in. Yo, she's a come. You really? I like mean, me. I gotta. Yo, she, what does she be talking about? Like, no, what does she talk to? Him? Like, we be talking. So you don't. You like me, right? No, what she tells him is. <laughs> you like that nigga Terry? Like, I'm gonna do the thin one, or do you want the thick one? She nah, shows him the I two mean, I have ones. to put it on. So there's definitely a conversation before having it, but I mean, it's the tongue than the finger than that. Do you wash that shit? Do you wash? Oh yeah, I wash. I have toy cleaners. Sometimes I put a condom on. Really? You put in a you put in like the dishwasher or something? Now, no, how do you sanitize I bo- you that? You boil, boil it or I have like some um I be boiling my dick <sighs> or I um put like Jesus. some cleaner on it. Hard boiled dick is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that is. Yo, that wild. sounds like the name of the episode. I, <laughs> hard boiled dick. <laughs> I'm so what? glad I'm married. What the fuck are y'all doing out here? I mean, no, no, say y'all. y'all. Don't, don't say don't y'all. Niggas together. getting boiled dildos up their ass. <laughs> Yikes! It's, it's a I nice. I mean, but thing. everyone has this their shit preference. is fresh so up we, the we shouldn't oven. shame. Everyone has yeah, their yeah. Everyone has their thing they like to do. So I like to make sure like we on the same page. We can experience each other. Like I've had a nigga who used to like me to piss on him. Mm. I don't like pissing on him, but because oh, he you, wanted it, I did it. You got so, to share a cell with our nah, colleague. but piss now. Nah, I'm just I I I. What kind of piss? It. Asparagus piss or just like not oh, asparagus? Been piss. drinking water no, all day. No, like Ciroc and water piss. Oh. Uh, what? Oh God! But well, that's all Square is wrong? anyway. Though. Well, no, she, no, it's not. You gotta remember yes, that was, fat, no, no, it's it's was fat Mandy. That was what fat Mandy. Fat Mandy so you we know that was not healthy. <laughs> that was not. That was very dark piss. Oh, sugary <laughs> ass piss. <laughs> Diabetic ass piss, <laughs> yellow as fuck ass piss. <laughs> piss with blood, chicken on and it. waffles I ass piss, <laughs> BBQs, honey wings I ass can't piss, say <laughs> candy colada. Ass. Thank you. Keep going, oh and we God. gonna bring up BBQs, nigga. Oh my I God! You know why I ain't fucking with y'all? Listen, I got. I need to Why ask because there's two more women in the room. Michaela, you like your ass eating? Okay. Okay. Taylor, you like your ass? See, wow. look at nobody. Niggas not eating Philly cheese no steaks and shit. <laughs> look, there is a reason for you it. In the camera, move. I'm not. <laughs> well, listen, this is Nicole Murphy shit, right? Yes. Oh, back to that. Is this normal shit to do with your no. guy no. friend? No. Fuck uh, no. friend? With sure. your friend with benefits. That's what I'm saying. We all yeah. friends. Yeah, gotta be more, right? Friend with benefits, for sure. Definitely. But, with but also, we gotta remember, there's only one rich person in the room right now. Charlamagne. Right. We not rich like that. Chris so Rowe. That's a good hey. point. Dwayne. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. Two rich people in the room. They uh-huh. probably do a lot of weird shit we can't understand. No, I'm right not. Now. Listen, I, most of the majority of my, my friends are women. No. What's well, because you're black? You got some sense. Yeah. Um, oh, he's so, black. Right, right? Yeah, but he's black. Been, when you've been rich that long, you start doing white people shit. <laughs> this is wild. Like, maybe. You're right. This could be like a, this could be like an Italian. They're in Italy. Don't Italians greet each other with a kiss? They're, they're not cheap. Italian, though. No, no fuck and that. You, when in Rome, Rome, when in Rome we do what Romans do. That's what we when in Italy, you, I'm not me. I'm not in Rome. You, you nah. kiss on the cheek over there. You don't kiss on the mouth. Well, maybe This ain't really a passionate joint, though. That looks passionate. That is passionate The head is That's not That's not. because he's taller than her. No. Like, how you can't do it face to face. Your nose is a bump. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and they both holding tea. Like, this still, that looks innocent to me. Does but it? I'm just saying Would that. Would you do it? No. See? Okay, okay so, it's so it's not innocent. very innocent. I don't like Nicole's statement that that's what friends do because that's bullshit. That's bullshit. it puts a negative stigma on male female relationships. Agreed. And there's already, already a negative did. stigma. <laughs> exactly. Whenever you tell her, like, that's my friend, they'll be like, yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. I hate Agreed. that shit. I hate when I be in pictures with my homegirls and be like, oh, you fucking her. I'm like, that's whack. Like, 100%. I don't like the stigma that this uh, that, creates. That's what friends do. I only feel I offended if, the, if my homegirl's ugly. Oh, like if I'm in like if I'm in a picture like if I was to take a picture with like Fat Weezy and they'd be like oh you fuck I'm like get the fuck out of here Fat Man do you mean Fat Man here mm-hmm. we go I'd be like get the fuck out of here like no, I can see that with, I can see that with Fat Man yeah. that's fine but them niggas thought no let me see they was questioning who that nigga with the dreads you with cause they know this pussy was popping snapple Jesus Christ. Listen, I gotta pay some bills I got that red snapple Jesus Christ man do you wanna do this one? Oh yeah sure which one this one Boom! Why are you making me do this one? <laughs> oh, you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I, I'm lactose, nigga. You do this. <laughs> this portion of the show is brought to you by Ben and Jerry's. All right, <laughs> it's summer. And that means <laughs> it's prime ice cream season. Okay. <laughs> I am lactose intolerant, but I do enjoy ice cream every now and then because it's very, very hard to resist. Yes. I am glad that Ben and Jerry's is doing advertisements because ice cream has been getting a bad name ever since people have been going in these goddamn stores Look and licking the ice cream and putting their fingers in it. Ugh. I thoroughly enjoy it, especially when I'm on vacation because I know I don't have nothing to do but just run to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't eat ice cream on the go. I see people out in the street and they eating ice cream on the go and nope, I'm looking at them work. like, bro, you don't got nowhere to be? Like, <laughs> like where you going to put that out at? You have a favorite flavor of Ben & Jerry's ice cream? Um, So I like the cheesecake one. 
cheesecake. I, I love the the cheesecake crumbles. Okay. So it's cheesecake, graham cracker. But now you got to do it in portions, though, right? Oh, yeah. I can't do a lot of dairy, but I have like a sour cream addiction right now. But It's yeah. so bad. We I buy love sour, sour cream, cream. I mean, I'm, I'm half white. I mean, come on. Give me a break. Shit. She puts it, I make rice and beans, and she puts some type of rice and beans. Really? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream, Carla? It has chocolate with brownies in it. I think it's uh, called fish food, something like that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wow. I like that. Regular. I like Ben and Jerry's. They sell at 7 Eleven across the house from across my house. Miles, wait till you get your girl pregnant and you gotta run out and get her Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> right. Because she's gonna want a pint of Ben and Jerry's. With a pickle. Yes. So you need to be what? taking notes on what these flavors are. Charlamagne. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do you Put it in there. your girl pregnant? Do your <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is treat yourself Ooh. to your favorite flavor anywhere ice cream is sold or find a new favorite at BenJerry.com. That's B-E-N-J-E-R-R-Y dot com. Are you? Y'all got ASAP out yet? Yeah. <laughs> Who got ASAP out? Who got ASAP out? Yo. Who's y'all? I mean, I like Ferg better anyway, so I don't care what happens. Holy shit. Y'all ain't been raising hell on social media to get ASAP out? I haven't been paying attention. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the petition. I was like, all right, let me help out, but is it going to do anything? Probably hell not. no. People don't even like Americans across the water, bitch. They don't care what the fuck we think. Yeah. We don't even treat our own citizens well. Do you think they they give a fuck? No. The- I don't know. To me, um, it does suck because I just saw, I don't know if you saw what just happened to Futures. Um, security guard. I did. Know where they were? Security guard. So yeah, well, like they're saying that's fucked up. It was in London. So the same thing happened just with Future. And if you saw Future got his happy ass right in the car and wasn't, you know, kind of left his security guard on the video ground. was edited though. It was wasn't it? edited. Yeah, because if you look at the video, the guy, the security guard already, is already walking with one shoe, and you see like I luggage never already the on the go ground. Anywhere. Oh, like so. so okay. My 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 biggest issue: is the security guard should never have turned his back on whoever the fuck. Yeah, he like, is. no, one hundred percent. That's security one on one. Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. But I mean, man. this has been like a common thing with people just harassing um, artists, mm-hmm. and I think that it's something that we need to. There needs to be some type of security blanket for these artists when things like this happen. So to have them locked up, shit, Alex was locked up too overseas doing Alex was wilding though. He was wilding. He was wilding. Alex was wilding. Not a good example. Alex was wilding. Alex punched the security guard. He did, he deserved it. And, and, and try to take his and, and try to take his wife. Being racist. And we were not even home. Yeah. You went home. So he was being racist, and you respond by being a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Notice, I want you to know, Alex only wants to be nigger when it's time to have fun. <laughs> Any other time he's Spanish, right? Puerto Rican. Boy! Puerto Rican. This nigga be like, act, act, actually, actually, it's, it's, it's I Ale- know, the Alejandro. <laughs> when, when I first Ale- Alejandro. Ale- Alejandro. I said, what the fuck? Yo, I seen Alex at the game. What game? I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do, do, it. It. do it. I said, I'm not gonna do it. What game you saw him at? <laughs> now you're gonna have to tell. You can't just start and not finish. Come on. Oh, because I got a story Come too. On, our, our, oh, our, well, if it's Alex I'm story, story time. Alex story okay. time. Let's so, go. Let's so, do it. so I seen Alex, right? <laughs> Alex, Alex in love with you, Mandy? No, th- that was Why? never a thing. Oh, okay. That was so never I, a thing. When I seen Alex, he was like, he was like, I seen him with somebody. And I'm like, yo, hey, what up? He was like, I, I beat your ass. Alejandro. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro I said what I said yeah let me get out of here man <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 when, when Alex was a part of the horrible decision team he used to talk oh, he's not to Mike nah he's not he got fired um, but when he was, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But, I love like, this why am I just learning all of this shit yo y'all fired Alex and now you trying to fire Weezy but, and replace him with Carla that's, that's what it seems that like that's not what it seems like yo no, sign no, the petition no, save no, Weezy it's crazy because no. when when Alex, <laughs> when Alex used to get on the mic he used to be like yo don't don't tell your audience I don't fuck with black girls like it used to be a whole thing you did, Yo, Alex. No, all of his Alex, Alex, Alex you don't Spanish fuck with black girls. Mandy Atlanta. Who he brought to the club? Oh, in you did. You, you did. Alex, come, come, come a Atlanta. microphone, Listen, Alex. So come on, the party come on, in Atlanta, Alex. and here comes he walks up. So with you a didn't whole say don't tell girl. them I don't be fucking with black girls. Only at the time I was dating a white girl. At the time, <laughs> so, so who did you bring to Atlanta? So they kept saying that I was only date white girls because at that one particular time I was. dating He said, "Don't let your fans, don't let your fans know." That was the girl. But then you lied to us and you said, "Right, she was white." And she was white. He was like, no, she's she Colombian. Was blonde with blue eyes. <laughs> oh, she's white. She's white. She's blonde she's and blue white. eyes. No, nope, And he white. wanted to be like, she, oh, she habla español. Fuck out of here. She was white. <laughs> she told me she's Colombian. She's so that's what I'm calling No, if that didn't work for me. No, because if that didn't work for me. No, no. She was trans-Colombian, <laughs> Alex. Fuck that. Right. If that didn't work for me, because Alex and Schultz was the first one like, well, we tried to tell you. I said the bitch told me she was a fucking uh, Middle Eastern. Y'all said we still believe call her. women bitches in 2019. No, no, no. I call, <laughs> I call bitches bitches. Oh. What makes a bitch a bitch? Her. 
<laughs> oh, I'm well prepared, man. <laughs> well prepared. This is crazy. Yeah, it's a lot going on. So listen, Donald Trump wants to get ASAP Rocky up. God. Do y'all give a fuck about that? Do y'all make y'all? Does that make y'all like Trump in any way, shape? No, or hell no. I mean, Hell no. Do it. Do it. If he does it, it's a job. Like I didn't like when he went over there and got. It's really not his it's job. It's not his job. That's a U.S. I ain't gonna front. Donald Trump is making me look at presidents in a whole different light because he well, does shit that I didn't know presidents were even capable like, of. Like right. Paying attention oh, yeah. to regular everyday cultural shit. Well, because he's on he's Twitter. He's on Twitter though. Like mm. he's a celebrity. And then he's apparently not a real wasn't, he, wasn't he like um, wasn't Kim and Kanye the ones who yes who went put him to on him to yeah. put. And Melania was the one that said, yo, we need to get ASAP out. He which is kind of wild. Around with Melania? He walked yeah. around with a stunt How double. How she know about ASAP? That's my point. And that's right. what Trump needs to look into. Because ASAP is a sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> but you don't, do Pretty yeah, but don't mess it up. Let him come home first and then let him find that out. <laughs> let him find out. Yeah, let him oh. come home. And Trump going to send his ass back. He's going to have ICE <laughs> take ASAP and send him back to whatever his origin is. Wherever you came and from. it won't be Harlem, goddamn. <laughs> okay? Listen, that's Actually, he said Soho and Beverly Hills is where, you know. He's, he's. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't. What can I ask your take on what you thought about him saying that? I didn't like the comments. I thought the comments was mad whack. But I think um, what he's learning right now is exactly why you should stand up Thank for black you. people when they are in those positions. Because as Martin Luther King Jr. said, an injustice just anywhere is a threat injustice. to justice everywhere. Say that. You know what I'm saying? But those comments don't make me say fuck ASAP. Same. No, uh, it doesn't. My problem with people is that they look at injustice like it's a popularity contest. No, injustice is injustice. Michael X said, I'm for, in, I'm for justice no matter who is for or against. So I don't look at ASAP and be like, oh, he made those fucked up comments about Ferguson, so fuck what he going through. Mm -hmm. Or when Alton Sterling got shot by the police, he was like, oh, well, he made negative comments about black women back in the day. Yeah. He's still an unarmed black man who got killed Agreed. by the police. I care about justice. I don't give a fuck about the actual yeah, but individual. There is, a part, there is a portion where accountability needs to be held. You got to stand on your words. You got to eat that, right? Because yeah. before that situation oh, happened, I guarantee you, you he's going to learn from them words. When he comes back, I would like to see I, him be more I don't involved. know if he would. You don't I, think so? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know and I'm not, I'm not the type to say, oh, he'll learn now because Motherfuckers disappoint us all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. he's in a fucked up predicament now, and I think the people whose job it is to help him, the DeRays, Black Lives Matter, the government, whoever job it is to help him, well, you got to stand on that. Yes. Because that's your job. That's your no, job. Now, is there when it comes, embassy there or something? Now, when it comes to the... I don't know. No, there's not. So, but when it comes to the people, when it comes to everyday black people, they have the right to say, oh, no, I'm not... I'm not fucking I mean, I'll be honest with you. I was um, in Europe earlier this year. I went to London. and Big you little you? <laughs> Fuck you. I've been little. Oh, for I, was the last asked, year. I was just asking. Okay. Um, no, but I was in London and I didn't realize. <laughs> I fucking hate you. The the PTSD that I have around, and I'm not even a black man, but when I was over there, we were rolling with, with guys and we got pulled over while we were over there. And so they they pulled all of us out of the car, took me and my homegirl's passports because she's a German citizen and took both of our passports and literally three of them were searching the car. If they would have found one blunt, we would have been locked up. And literally at the time, he's like talking trash to the cop. And in that very instance, I'm just like, stop yelling. Like, apparently they don't have guns, the nah. same gun laws and stuff like that over nah. there. But I don't know There's shit about that. Ain't no guns yeah, in this is my first time. And I, just being in that experience, because I don't hang around that type of crowd here. But even just seeing that this is... That's crazy. Like how the it affected cry, me. That's interesting. Like I started crying. Me, I was the crying. The cry that she called me with was so emotional. She was terrified. I was Uber. terrified. Now, I, said, I said, we're not hanging with no one else over here. And so we ended up hanging with fucking Americans the rest of the time that I knew that was over there. But I just, I, I genuinely, like, I was crying. I said, I didn't even know that watching all of these black men die and seeing the videos, yes. how it affected me in the way that it yes. did until I was put in the position where I'm with a black man yelling at police authority. And all I could say was stop. So when we finally got through, thank God they didn't find, it, find anything in the car. I literally walked up to him and was like, fuck you. Like, you just put me in a position where, as an American, I see what they do to black men. And I had never even knew it affected me until being in that situation. Well, that's all that trauma, watching all of those different it is. videos. It is. You know what I'm saying? Now, you said if they would have found a blunt or something like that, it would have been bad. Now, yeah. what would have happened if they would have found a dick? <laughs> Yo, Jesus shut, Christ. Yo, shut the fuck up. They both had dicks on <laughs> no, them. No, I'm so. talking about the hard boiled one. No. <laughs> Word I didn't born. have it. What would have happened? Okay. That would have been a deal I didn't carry the strap with me, okay? I was in Europe. I ain't bring the strap. Oh, just, just know that. Imagine having a dildo on your bag in London, though. <laughs> and ain't no guns over there, so they really don't know what the fuck that shit is. And all they keep hearing is these new rappers in America talk about, I got the dick. Got the dick. <laughs> Yo, what's up with that, man? Wait, wait, that's in a rap? Yeah, they well, say I got they, the they dick? Call, they call I found guns that shit dick. out yesterday because of yeah. Blueface. Wait, wait what? what he say? They call guns dick? He got a, no he got a couple no, balls. He got a ball. He's like, I got two dicks in my lap. 
Shut no up. I got my dick way. in my lap. I think I play. Wait, what's wrong with you? I'm dead ass. Can right? we play an insert? No, like, not, oh, not, probably not. not huh? Huh? I had no idea I that y'all, that. the young motherfuckers, are calling guns dicks. Young people nowadays are like wild. The things that they say. That I'm shit a is confusing. And, I stuff, and I'm like, what are you doing? Listen, all the time I thought these niggas was flirting with me. <laughs> And they've been trying to kill me the whole time. Young Thug used to threaten me all the fucking Wait, time. I got these dicks for you. Gonna put them, you gonna get the dicks put on you when you come to Atlanta. No. I put my dick in your mouth. No. Actually, I'm not homophobic. Get the Doesn't fuck matter. Out of here. Oh. Get the fuck but out of here. That motherfucker was talking about guns the whole time. <laughs> That's scary, bro. Balls. That's the extendo clip. The what? The dick with the balls. That's the extendo clip. The balls mean the extendo clip? I don't know. Look, like, <laughs> shit. Oh, <laughs> like, like, the in the bottom. Also, the asshole to trigger, huh? Clip. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you gotta you add said, that in when, there. When, when it could be the asshole could be the trigger. With the finger? Put the finger in it. The asshole could be the trigger. It could be. It's possible. It could but no, be. what you were saying about the fucking videos is true, man. Yeah. That is, that, that's just trauma from that shit just getting passed on and you watching that and shit. I didn't and know. That shit. Didn't and, even know. And that shit is fucking scary. But I talked to my therapist about that. Okay. And my therapist was, she broke down the statistics of, you know, uh, unarmed black right. men that are killed at the hands of the police. And it's Correct. like mad low, like 0.004%, 3%, percent some number like amplified. that. But I don't care. And the reason I don't mm-hmm. care is because that shit is still scary because I think I can win the lottery. So that mm-hmm. shit is like one in whatever billion amount Very of people. True. So just the fact that I'm a black man regardless of how low the statistic is makes me feel like that can still happen to me what's crazy yeah. there's still some black men out here that talk crazy to, to the police I have an ex that I remember him going crazy and I was terrified I'm like what are you doing I support it you're not accepting you support, you support black support men support going Why? crazy at the police because that's them not being scared and you I'm should like be that. scared though but if you live in fear they already win no mm. you need explain, to, break, no no break that down, down. So, okay so if they are wilding uh, mm-hmm. not even wilding that is their right, right? Essentially, the police are civil servant, right? So who yeah, do they right. serve? Us. The customer is always right, right? So if you are pulling me over for no reason and I feel it, it's for no reason. But if you have, not, a, no. give me a second. You have a you have a right and a reason to voice that concern, just the same way as as, as white people do, same way as Spanish people. Well, maybe not now. No. But the same <laughs> the same way the same way any other race does. No. So if that black man says, "Oh, you don't scare me, motherfucker." What's the worst? Bang, if, bang. If a mom, the worst can the worst is bang, bang, but, but, to some people that, but to some people that's not the worst. You're right in theory. To some people that's not the worst. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 but it's not reality. To, yeah, it it's, is, yeah. it's, it's his reality because yes, that means he's, he's not afraid of dying. So if he's not afraid of dying, you 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 don't hold as long any as fear he's aware that he's not afraid of dying and that is very I was gonna say very I was gonna say but, but realistically a lot of a lot of people's fear is dying a lot of people want to be able to achieve things before they leave the earth they have family yeah. they have friends a lot of people don't realistically not fear dying that is a fear because you're leaving a lot of people behind That's you're leaving a, a lot of people hurt you're leaving children you're leaving family so realistically if, if a police officer comes to me in realistic realistically that's what shoots between before everyone's eyes before fear is my family my yeah, child it's not about us it's mm-hmm. not even about home. us it's about everyone else and the fear of that white cop is that black man but, some, but sometimes first of all no that's not the fear let's not lie that's not their fear that's their, that's their target there's a difference mm. they um, are fearful but, of them but sometimes for some people for me I yes. say for me personally I know it is worse for me to leave a situation knowing I could have stood up for myself and be a man okay and go home and have to live with that than dying. It depends what, what the cop is saying, though. Like I try to be. Respectful. I mean, if he's right, if the yeah. cop is right, yeah. If we we can be respectful for, with each other, but you know, you're not gonna call me a punk bitch or you a nigger, yeah, and all. Yeah. I'm not going for all well, of that. Get, none of that shit is happening. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. None yeah, of that yeah. shit happening. Like if, especially if I'm in the wrong, and you're not gonna kill me because I'm wrong now. Right. But if it's a situation where I know I'm right. And you going at me? You a man at the end? Of the day. I don't care nothing about that badge. That go- you a man? I'm a man. So but what you talking about is like also a de- family. It's also a deadly sin. What you're saying? Because what you're saying in in hindsight is pride. It's your pride right. not to let him talk to you like that. And yeah. that's one of those deadly sins. And if we're talking about deadly shit with dealing with black men and cops, like sometimes your pride can take the back seat. When it comes to life and death. You have to think about and your so family. I would, I would genuinely sit here and say that deadly sin isn't worth it. Your pride, you stepping up to this man is not worth your life. It's just not. It's easy to say that as... As, as what? It's easy to say that as not a man. It's 
No. How you that, gonna tell me that's not true? You have three women telling me that it's not true. <laughs> well, you, know how, what do you, think? you know how it is to be a man? So oh, talk man, about man, it. Man, like you're gonna sit here and choose death no, because of your no, pride. No, no, like, you're not I, gonna I, punk I, me. I, I see I see both sides. You know what I'm saying? I tend mm. to lean on Mandy side only because when I get stopped by the police, I don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I license, registration, insurance. Right. Boom, keep it moving, keep conversation to a minimum. But I also have never been disrespected gotcha. by a cop. At the end of the day, you you are still a man, regardless of what your badge your badge and your uniform you're still a man you're not gonna disrespect me as a man and I, okay. I am a tax paying citizen this is all I'm and saying. I do know my rights so okay. I'm, I'm not gonna let you disrespect me this is all but I'm saying. I ain't I'm, it, I'm not gonna le- I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the one to level it up mm-hmm. like if you pull me over I'm not gonna start wilding on you what the fuck you pull you pull me over I was probably doing something now once we now once we start getting into it right. if you level it up I'm going to match your energy but we should have like, would do it. you didn't do cute. anything <laughs> I was telling him thank you alright I enjoy that I appreciate that. What if he asked you to get out the car after calling you cute? Okay. Right. Oh, and pass you right. down. She turns, tell me she turn around, <laughs> pass you down. I'm just telling him you gonna be you gonna be disappointed. He gets to the ball area. <laughs> be disappointed. You know, and he be like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm here for the balls anyway." So, 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 oh, oh, so not just, my balls. Yeah, he just jiggles your balls a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, fl- I wouldn't flip on a gay man for doing that. Like I wouldn't flip on a regular civilian for doing that. Okay. What's so the do you out here telling people that can grab your balls? No, shout out to don't all grab, the niggas. Shout, shout out to all the niggas that's about to be fondling mouse the in these streets. Grab the balls. Balls. <laughs> That was an invite. Yeah, he consent. just gave consent. No, there was no consent. You gave there was no consent. 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 There was no consent. consent. There was no consent. That was consent. I heard consent, my G. There was no consent. Yes. There just won't be violence because I don't win that. I don't win that. I have big balls. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like I whoop a gay man's ass for touching my balls I don't win that right I'm gonna go to jail for a hate crime like it doesn't doesn't look good I'm gonna avoid myself from being in those situations that cop do that we got about 10 more weeks of summer you know what I'm saying you be out here in some shorts somebody gonna run up on you I know my shorts definitely balls. be too hot for that shit alright let me y'all don't have consent <laughs> just wanna put that out there nah but it's a weird space win right as, as, as a straight man as a straight black man in this community um, and acknowledging this, the 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 bullshit that the LGBT community goes through, yes, especially the black ones. I, I only focus on the black ones. I don't, Same. The white ones. I, I don't that's give not a my fuck problem. About them. The black ones. Yeah, privilege. I don't. I'm not gonna wild on you. Like I walk everywhere I go. Some some gay man telling me I look good. Well, I'm just, I'm gonna flip on him. Thank you, nigga. Like, yeah, I'm cool with that. I know I look good. Appreciate compliment that. is a compliment. Now nah, don't touch my balls. Yeah, touching the yeah. balls is a little crazy. You can't disrespect my space. Come on, I don't, don't you know grab my balls. Man. I mean, at the end of the day, they're still men. I think men kind of get it for other men. Like, I just don't like the narrative that a lot of straight men think all gay men want to turn them out, and they don't. I'm, with me, they don't. Mm. I'm, I look mad. Though. But you know what that comes from? That comes from the guys. But I guess back in the day, guys used to like <laughs> yeah. to be with virgins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, so they want to turn out the yeah, straight Yeah, so I think the gay okay. dudes look at us like virgins. Like, I think it's like, only some of them. There's some gay there's guys. Some, like, my yeah. co-host is real, gay. And he's like, I don't want to turn, I don't want anybody in the DL. I don't want to turn them out. Like, right. I want a man if you want, like, I want a gay man out the closet. You got a podcast too, girl? I do. Yeah, man. Shit, I'm 30. Shit on 30. Shit, I'm 30. Shit, I'm 30. Yeah. Oh. She got her own little podcast. All right, so it ain't no beef then. No, no. she's she running her own shit. She done did a live my show and everything in Orlando, sold out. Oh. Yeah. She got her own little... But it ain't, no, it ain't no horrible decision. Don't do that. But oh, she, bad. she got her shit popping. Absolutely popping. not. Yeah. Especially being in a that. smaller market. She does consulting. She's putting... She's teaching people how to start their own podcast. She working out here. She's no wheezy, but she does the thing. <laughs> Mouse. You, 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 you want wheezy? What's up? I'm just, oh, like, right. Who you are? Uh, Weezy! I, mean, I thought that was Weezy walking. <laughs> Yo, I really thought it was Weezy walking. in. I said, oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. You got Yo, I said... Hey, I need to close up of his face. Mouse he looks scared like, like a ah. motherfucker. Mouse, you all right? You now, cool? I was about to gas it. I, I, was, I just felt bad for what was about to happen in the power office. Yeah, I, I was about to gas like, it. Relax. Yeah, nah, but she does a thing. That's no, I'm good. doing all my, all my business. I quit my job back in October. So I was she an accountant for five years. I love the entrepreneurial spirit of y'all just saying fuck it. Yeah. yeah. It was, What's the it, worst that can happen? I gotta go back to accounting. Yeah, we both have degrees, so I, I still like push that I am still for everyone getting an education. Um, just because that's that actually was one of the things that almost hindered me from leaving. I said, Oh my god, I just did all of this schooling and I'm gonna leave it for nothing. But a lot of the things that I did 
at school, apply to now. Like, I help with the accounting. I'm, I'm a genius at Excel. But I know that I always have those degrees to, to lean on. They're right. never going anywhere. Scary space so, to be in. Because, no. I, I mean, that's that, my mindset Terrifying. was I, I never had no degrees. Mm -hmm. so when I got into radio as an intern and then did part-time radio, that's all I motherfucking had. Balls to the wall. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I never, I never, I never had the mentality I got something else to fall back on. Right. I did. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like it. I didn't tax it. That wasn't fun. But. My fear is to have to go back to corporate. Really? Yeah. Like, I am so fear. When I left, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't breathe. I'm sitting at that desk like, I have to get out of here. I put my two weeks in and I said, I got to go earlier than this. I cannot be here any longer. But I think that's when you know that part of your life is done. Like, it's time to move on. When you yeah, yeah. feel, you have that feeling. Some people are like, I don't know when to leave. You'll feel it. You're uncomfortable where you are. But also, don't leave on a rash decision. Because people are like, oh, I'm going to quit my job. <laughs> it took me a year to leave now. I saved up money. I had a plan. Yeah, I saved up you know? money. I paid off debt. I think that that's right. very important. You just left, right? I remember I saw that I just that left post. three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and, and that was a career for me. I, I went and got two bachelor's degrees. And I was like, oh, I'm about to be an accountant. I'm set for the rest of my life. I get paid on the 1st and the 15th. I got my, my benefits. I was super happy. Um... And then things picked up with the podcast. I mean, we went on tour, so I was literally juggling, juggling a busy season of taxes at a big four firm and going on tour on the weekends. So it, it just became a lot. And I, again, made sure everything was settled, that I had X amount of months paid up for my rent, made sure everything was, was settled. And I was like, okay, I'm going. I'm glad you made the decision time. after losing weight, though, because all everything that Carla <laughs> described sound like being fat, like you couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so you might have died. I had to leave. The hot yeah. now light is on at Krispy Kreme. I'm telling you. So the fact that you waited until you lost the weight yeah. to make this clear decision. I, I can't stand you. I swear I to God, that. I can't stand you. Anxiety could have killed you. No, I'm not going to lie. That's another anxiety now. Just like her, like the fear of failing as a creative or content creator right. and um, having to go back to a nine to five. You have to fail, though. Yes. No, so so we I all have to so fail. I'm I'm no, aware. I'm got to fail up. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. So I'm aware that whatever solo ventures I have um, planned, that it, you know they may not all hit the way horrible decisions did. I mean, shit, horrible decisions is only two and a half years old, and we're doing what we're doing. We both were able to leave our jobs, so it's amazing. But it's also just having that confidence. I think when you're an entrepreneur, you you literally don't have a CEO but yourself. Yeah. You are the CEO. So if it fails, it's like, okay, so now I have to think of plan A, B, C, and D on my own. You can't there's, blame anyone else. There's no, you know, board of directors or none of that. I don't have a senior manager and a manager to fall back on. I'm doing everything. So why do anything solo? Why not just put all your energy in the horrible decisions? Um, because I, me and her are just two very different people. So I would love for people to see me um, and my brand and what I can give to content and creating and where, where I stand in this world and you I think I have a voice that I want to hear I think that we're fine you and Andrew do a lot of things solo everyone else on the but network the read everything I mean everything everyone does everything solo you do a lot of shit bro you travel you're with BET Andrew's fucking on tour he's killing it you have your book you have Breakfast Club I think that it's okay for me to step away from Wheezy and Wheezy to step away from me and both of us see where we fall in, in line what if it, nothing works when y'all do it solo Oh, I ain't worried Not about that. Not wishing that on you, but I'm just no, saying. No, I, I, I mean, I'm... Then Try I something else. something else. Or maybe y'all just good together. And so Horrible isn't going anywhere. We'll be yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. You'll have the podcast. We'll be on tour. Like, that's not going anywhere. I think what we're giving to, like, just the culture is what's needed. Us talking about taboo sex, us being able to come on this platform and even talk about the different sexualities. And I'm not going to lie, For in, in a very um, long part of the podcast, it was a lot for me because a lot of men actually listen to our show and hit us up opening about the sexualities and things that they want to try that they don't feel like they're warranted the way that women are. What do you mean when you say sexuality? Like like in experimenting, especially as black men. So I've only dealt with black men and the trauma of just how you're raised, toxic masculinity, what you feel like you can and cannot do as a black yes, man. Okay, I got you. Like we've had a lot of people open up that thank you as black women allowing us to open up about what we want. Yeah, you so made it sound I, like I it was want... flavors of ice cream. I mean, like, there, I mean, I mean there is. There's a spectrum. So really? there Hell is a, there's yeah. a huge spectrum yeah, of sexuality. So you could, shit, you could be bi, you could be queer, <laughs> <laughs> you could be questioning and I think that it, it's a big part for black women to allow black men that space they you know we got our hot girl summer we got our whole phase and I think it's time for black men to be able to talk to other black women and be like hey I kind of wonder what a finger feel like in my ass and they should be able to ask for that without us judging <laughs> you them you jumped so far wow I'm just saying 
you jump so far. Real quick, real quick. There's mad niggas that never had a nipple suck. You want to jump to a finger ass? But even that, me and her just had that conversation. She's like, oh, the guy that I used to date used to love his nipples play with, and I thought he was so feminine. And I was like, I was like, why are you attaching a man's nipples to femininity? Like, if he wants his nipples play with, that's an arousal. That's true because men got nipples. They do have nipples. I'm not saying he was wrong. Some men got titties. There's times I looked up and it looked a little feminine. But but that's the toxic trait of us black and Latina women that we project onto black men that they can't even experiencing these things without us making them feel more feminine. I didn't when make they... him feel that way. I never said anything. Enjoy yeah, but you, you told enjoy... me, bitch. I didn't tell him. And I told you, you problematic. <laughs> I'm problematic all the time to you. You are, you Every are. day. But I just think it's important that our black men be able to experience sexuality in the way, even though y'all call us hoes for experiencing ours, I think that black I men... I call women hoes. I mean, it's out there. I call women hoes. I know you do. I know. Um, I only call hoes hoes, though. I like sexual freedom. I think that yeah, you should Yeah, and I think be it's important, but not only for liberated. us women, I want to... I want to open that up to black men. As a black woman who only deals with black men, it hurts me that they feel like they can't tell me what they want. Wow. So there's nothing weird? Nothing For is weird to now. me. I'm just asking. Nothing is weird to me. Some shit that's weird. Nothing now, is weird to me. what if you put a finger in a guy's ass, right? Here we go. Here we go. The guy says to you, can I do you? And then you say to him, I don't do that gay shit. No. How so- <laughs> <laughs> How should I react to that? No, no, I, w- I wouldn't do that. I mean, to me, to me, there's conversations before we get into that mix. If you allow me to do what I want, like what, what you know turns me on, I'm okay with pleasuring you back. And I think that that's a conversation that isn't had with relationships and with people who are even casually having sex. You need to know what your partner wants, their hard limits and what they want to try. And you should be able to open, open up about that to your partner. But if somebody say I don't want a finger in my ass, you're not gonna. You're no, gonna then judge, I won't huh? put my finger in my ass. Mind you, you gotta not only take a finger, you gotta take acrylic, nigga. I don't cut my goddamn nails, so you taking you a finger and acrylic. You don't put nothing <laughs> she over put it. She put finger condoms. Sometimes on I use finger condoms. What's a finger? Is that what them things is? <laughs> <laughs> with the little prick, with the little prickle thing. That so goes it looked like a condom. But yeah. So I don't put it on my thumb. I like my index or this finger or both. Is there any cases of acrylic getting stuck in the anus? Like so you no. pull, you're pulled back and, and nail <laughs> no, be there. No, press on nail. Press and so on because nail. I get fills on time, I don't have that problem. But oh. ladies, if you have, if you need a fill, I would not suggest you put your finger in somebody's ass Especially because if it's tight. You know, because once they start getting loose, the asshole could pull the have acrylic ever, off. Have you ever judged a nigga? Like I don't judge fi- anybody. We pull. One I don't fi- judge anybody. Like, can I finish the question? Uh huh. <laughs> I don't. I don't fit so three fingers. So no, there's no judging. But did you Niggas know you three was fingers in the asshole? What did you expect? They videos fingering, like putting hairbrush. In the ass. Oh yeah, okay? this nigga put a condom on Why the edge of a hairbrush and put it in his booty hole. Cause he ain't have a condom, so I was like, "We've had something." I've done it, that before. I've done it, the, I done a the hairbrush. Hair you put a hairbrush in your hair ass? ass? No. <laughs> oh, oh, did you say somebody shit. couldn't find a condom? No, he couldn't he find put a, a toy, so he put a condom on the edge of a hairbrush because you know. Oh no, nah, no, I, mis- I, I misheard the whole <laughs> yeah, shit. You definitely misheard the whole thing. Oh, we need that clip. <laughs> we need that clip. I misheard the whole oh, shit. I thought you said that oh, he couldn't find a condom, so he used something else. He was so confident too. I've done that before. They're gonna take this sound clip and go. This nigga putting whole wave brushes up his asshole. It was the way brush. brush. He was plenty. It's Wait, the, 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 the thick. Nigga, what the kind of ass one. do you have that you could put a whole wooden wave brush up your ass? It was just a handle uh, a, a with a bussy. condom on it. That's, it, a, that's, that's, that's a bussy. That's square. Bussy. It's not even round. So that, he was taking it on nah, like it was a round one. If you go to the hair store, they got round and square. You're giving a nigga good. pussy that put a wave brush up his ass? I mean... It's it's nice. It's cool. I didn't have a nigga come in his own mouth for me. Like, let's not talk about all this. Oh, uh, yes, let's go. I saw that. This is disgusting. not horrible. Yo, literally, he's this like, is not. Wait, oh yeah, I showed. Yo, he's, like, he's like, wait, yo, you got we mad. We got on topic. the paper. Why are we yeah. not talking about these topics? Yo, this Charlotte. Topic. Yo. Charlotte, you're supposed to produce. Let's go. Wait. Niggas is doing shit like no. that. Uh, lead this, lead this. Let's move on because there's more and it's gonna keep coming. I don't even want my water. Wait, is that my water or your water? That's mine. You don't touch. Did I drink out of that? Christ. I pray you haven't. No, because I definitely ate ass this morning. And she took my lip gloss. So I'm done. I'm not using my lip gloss. No more. You ass this morning? I woke up thinking she was in her room and she wasn't there. (sighs) Where was she? In the living room? No, nah, she was, was going. I'm looking for him. I'm like, where are you? He's like, I'm coming back. I'm in the car. I was in the Uber headed back. You know, I want to pay some bills. And we're gonna come back and talk pay about the Lion bills. King. Y'all seen the Lion King? No, 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 no we're not gonna no, transition to Lion no, King. No, we are. Let's, let's do Lion King. I'm gonna pay King. bills. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pay bills. With his rich ass. 
right. Okay, guys uh, and girls, turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online. And analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box, and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple, and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot offer code idiot y'all can really respect the motherfucker after oh. <laughs> after he tries he to swallow his own cum I was about to say he shout out Squarespace do they're doing ads. my website he didn't do any like oh you like, know not this person. I was about to be like damn I, I'm using Squarespace for my I got three domains I just purchased and What's I'm about to use them for mine I got come in your mouth dot com <laughs> <laughs> nigga <laughs> spit it back dot org <laughs> Can we not make that an org, please? <laughs> Let's not. Don't do that. Don't. You're, you're, Find your hairbrush. No, I'm, 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 I just don't understand. Oh like that shit really reminds me of when Biggie said, "You look so good, I suck on your daddy's." Dick. That was a he fucking. Did say that. I know it was a Richard bit from Richard Pryor. Pryor joke. How but, many of y'all were rapping along to that though? Me. <laughs> no, Biggie said some wild shit, my G. Gina. Okay. And I love I, Biggie. Rest what in he peace. said. That shit, I'll fuck RuPaul before I fuck the ugly ass escape, it just, <laughs> which is gender fluid. Yeah. What's that? What do you hey, call that? What do you that, call that? That, that is, that's, that's that real. is, uh, they're women. Being, they identify as women. Being so. What flavor of sexuality is that? Well, no. no they can still be hetero no, and straight. Stri- if, if they want to fuck a trans woman, okay. she identifies as a woman. So I know a lot of men who have slept with trans women mm-hmm. and still identify as hetero. Got you. Because those women identify as women. I That's really cool. Like, I the really wi- like Pose. The wild Pose is amazing. I haven't seen Pose yet. It, you have you, to. You have it's really good. good. It's really good. The wildest shit Big said was grab your dicks if you love hip-hop. <laughs> hip-hop hip-hop is a woman, no? No. He said grab your dicks if you love hip-hop, hip-hop, rub your titties if you love Big, big pop. pop. Yes. So he's saying grab your dick if you love hip-hop. Hip-hop, yes. the music Brain. Genre. So when Genre. you love, so that's like the ultimate expression of love, grabbing your dick. Well, if you think about it, back then niggas would be on the block oh, yeah, and the pictures like grabbing their dick and shit like that's a that, that shit was stupid. <laughs> sure, we, we so have, you have to, no we, pictures grabbing your dick. No, we have to. Not that I remember, but you have we have to grow up in a. Can evolve. y'all find it in the archive? I'm sure you could Google him. I need. I they need don't. To find if we're being honest, you can't look back and say to yourself that shit was stupid. Yeah, yes, but I agree. But grabbing your dick, not looking back. No, if you love hip hop. He didn't we say love your dick. He grab your dick if you like big pop. He didn't say that. But grab your dick for loving anything is stupid. But sure. it was even around the era. What? That's the '90s when they did the what was it? Suck it and e- oh, everyone I fucked you. That was that shit. Yeah, yeah. D- I hated that. What do you love, Mouse? What's something Ooh. that you genuinely love? Women. <laughs> grab your dick if you love women. I can understand that. Okay. See, see I, where I, you I, were going with that? You won't. <laughs> <laughs> kind of been been here before. You won't walk me down that. <laughs> You heard the shit he did last time with fucking Will Chamberlain? Wait, nigga, wait, have, nigga walked me down a dark corner and left. <laughs> nigga was like, Schultz, who would you do? Mouse, what about you? We were like, Charlotte, he's like, I'm not doing a gay shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. You already told him. Right? Right? Won't, won't walk me down another Grab one. Grabbing dick for loving something sounds, it just sounds crazy to me. Especially hip hop. Like, imagine being on stage and telling every nigga in the audience to grab your dick if you love hip hop and yep. all the niggas are grabbing their dick. He's That's the thing if you love me. if you love big pop, they probably wouldn't have did it. I don't know. Some of them might have. Big Papa was hip hop. He was. Hip-hop. He was. It just sounds kind of crazy. I'm just saying. In hindsight, when you think back on that, that was a silly expression of love for something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. It was. A, it was an expression. Maybe he loves of, his uh, dick. Masculinity. That's toxic masculinity. That yeah. is. And yeah. it was really bad back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. You couldn't yeah. get your ass ate. It was, really it was extremely bad. Grab your dick if you love getting your ass ate. Oh, nobody's Mandy, got it. Mandy went in her purse. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's actually in my closet, thank you. <laughs> no, it's sometimes under the damn couch, and I walk around thinking oh, it's a yeah. rat under the couch. And she it's a put it on dick. her forehead, though. Chill. And I was like, but you got my whole part. ass dick on we your forehead. Drinking. We were drinking. <laughs> y'all so, you had, we were you had, huh? so you had bussy juice on your forehead? No. Y'all ever grabbed your dicks because you love each other? No. <laughs> no. I am completely different from her. She's vanilla. Okay. Whoa, bitch. I'm vanilla bean. Chill. She got a little bit of bean because she be squirting. How you know she squirts? 
Because I got to change my mattress. <laughs> oh, y'all be fucking on no, each no, other's mattress? Bed? No, 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 no. She's in my guest room, but she done let me know. Bitch, you might oh, need another mattress. I'm about to say, mattress. y'all might need to get them jobs back if y'all no. share your bed. <laughs> <laughs> y'all live in a no, fuck, no, y'all live in no, fucking no. pose for no, real. No, 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 no. I have a two, two bedroom. I have a two, two bedroom. Two rooms, two rooms. Pose is good, though? Amazing. Pose is mad good. No. Really? Yes. I love that show. Grab your dick if you love Pose. If I had one, I grab it. It's in my closet. Why? So I've never seen it. I heard it's good. Billy Porter. Yeah, first of all, Billy Porter is amazing in the show. Um. Like I like shows where you even learn if something. I support, yeah, where, where, not even that I learn something where I'm able to relate or connect with something that is a hundred percent not me, nothing that I know about. Right. So yeah. I'm so watching that show. I was like, my gay homeboy put me onto the show. He was like, yo, watch this, and like I'm watching like three, four episodes, and I'm like, oh, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Because I'm it ho- normalizes that world, and you realize they just people are going through regular it, shit like exactly, everybody else. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. And it's a timepiece. So you're seeing what, what this and community 90s. has been through and where they're at today. So you got my support. And it's got a whole bunch of black trans people yeah. in it. So it's a full trans, it got almost my, a full trans cast. Yeah, so it got my 100% support. They're Anything beautiful. hiring black people, I'm with it. Well, you literally learn from their community. Like there's so many, We know that trans people go through certain things. Now we're seeing that trans women are being killed. We know they're going through their things, but we don't. We didn't see what was going on in the 80s and the 90s. We weren't paying attention to it. It wasn't televised. Yeah. So we're actually learning what they're going through and why they feel the way they do today. So now we don't have to judge them. So, oh, you're going too hard with it. Because I hear sometimes like, oh, but you want all these. No, look at what they went through and where they are today. So maybe we can understand it, although we're not part of the community. Have y'all seen Euphoria? Not no, yet. I heard it was good. And I just want to watch it because I heard like in the first 12 minutes, it's like 30 dicks. So I really want to watch So why is my daughter watching this shit? Oh, your daughter should not be watching it. There's oh, dicks daughter. all over the place. 14. 14. Let me tell you something. My dicks daughter's out. 11. Listen, my daughter's 11. And I told, I said, I told my wife, I said, I don't like. I don't like the fact that Zendaya and That's the young girl from oh, yeah, no. Wrinkling Time. What's her it's name from Wrinkling Time? Sky? What's the girl who was oh, Wrinkling Time? I don't know who you're talking Storm, about. Storm. Yes. Storm. Storm. I think her name's Storm. I don't Storm. know what her name is. Storm. I was like, yo, I don't like the fact that they're in this show because it makes my daughter probably think I should watch this because they, they love Zendaya, That's Zendaya why I it was so cool. much. Yeah. But I mean, you know at the end of the day, I got twelve years. Yeah, the first don't, don't episode the is first cocaine, episode Molly, dicks, bro. dicks yeah. but older men fucking young girls. Oh God! Your daughter I mean, should not be watching. Could this teach her something? Says, no, no. Hey, look, look, we don't know. You ever seen Kids? No. Remember the TV show Kids? No, oh, I mean that TV show, the movie Kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, you I heard seen y'all kids? talk about it. This shit is like I heard kids. Y'all talk about it. Yeah, hey, you never seen Kids? What year did it come out? Before ninety six, I got here in ninety six. I don't, I yeah, way before way before okay, I got I got here in ninety six. Yeah, I saw that shit in middle school. From where? Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico. That's still America. Grab that's your dick America. if you love Puerto we, Rico. <laughs> I just learned. I got my passport. Just you don't learn, need a passport. You don't need a passport from Puerto just Rico. Learn, just learn that. Shut up. <laughs> just learn that. Didn't Come know on, I didn't man, need my passport. For there or Hawaii. And the Bahamas, if you go there by cruise, you also don't need Anywhere a passport. Anywhere you go by cruise, if you come back to the Doesn't same matter. port, you don't need it. I got a passport. You're now, 14 years so watching Euphoria? Yeah, she she know. just told me. She just told me. She's like, oh, it's in Dayas on it. I had no idea. I think I think you should let watch it. The first episode. I think a if you let her watch it, y'all need to watch it together. That no, shouldn't be. No, like, no, 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 no. She should be watching no, that shit. No, so no, here's the thing. No. My daughter's coming home with a lot of things she's learning in school. This is she what I'm saying. Up. Ain't nothing on you for her. No, learning in school. No, that's, that's not true. You'll be surprised. No way. That's not true. I walk by her middle school and they're like, "Damn, I'd fuck." And I'm like, "You're 12. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to?" He's a guy. A compliment. Girl saying that to you? No, boys. Little boys. No. So my daughter's hearing this in the hallways in middle school. So now she's going to high school. I can only imagine. Oh, what they but let's not even know. talk. She had to take her phone away. Like the, these oh, kids have her... Snapchat, yes. and they're sending each other things via Snapchat. I, I only have Snapchat grade. to talk to my married niggas. So I could only imagine, huh? like, yeah, what no, no, is no, going no, on. Just go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You gotta let it go. But like, you she... fucking a married nigga? No, niggas. No, no, but she like she caught her daughter, her fourteen year old, having a Snapchat. I took the phone away. She took it away. I take. All right. So look, there's no reason to be on Snapchat. You you have children. I have a twelve year old. I'm going through this right now okay and you have so, an 11 year old 11 right. so if this was me five years ago I probably would did the same thing so okay. it's probably a blessing that she's 12 and I'm in the mind frame I'm, I'm in now okay mm. I can't penalize her for embracing and engaging with her sexuality Look, give, me I told you that. give me a second yes, give me a second give me a second because out. no I hope not I mean? don't know maybe she what might be I hope she is actually. Is sexuality <laughs> the word for sex? Like when you're f- when we, yeah, embracing when you're, your sexual. Yeah, well, so when I say sexuality, I just mean, mean like men yeah. say like experience. Being like she's okay. Uh, she don't listen. Um, so they want the fuck. She wants yes. to fuck. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't even know if she's that. How do you but know she's she wants to fuck? 
Oh, she's watching porn. Yeah, so I caught, well, I caught, said, I caught no, on. I caught on. I caught on the so iPad. Charlotte. She took away, like she she went in a, in a in a, like a she was distressed. She found out that her daughter at four, well she was thirteen, 13 was reading sexual erotica so it was just message boards but it had like it had like all of the Disney characters but they were all fucking like so it put you in yes. the mindset I and didn't she, know this existed she was fucking I had no idea and I told her I was like girl when I was younger and this was like the aim MySpace days I used to go to message boards and read about fucking like B2K and all and that now shit she got a horrible decision who the fuck was fucking right. B2K so, but it's, it's just a Crystal. message board no, they, they create these stories so when I read it it was like Corey Simpson and all these kids like April sucking dick and going into a room oh well bet grab this Oh, all them numbers. That was good. Nah, but, good. but no, so like it, it was it was erotica, but she's reading about sex. I just took my wife told her to take my daughter. <laughs> yes, you can't no, do, so you can't do that. Right you can't do that. Conversation. I'm telling you, that. you, I'm telling you, that. you know why? Mm-hmm. Because on the other side of it, right? Like my baby mother hit me and was like, she's black and she's like, oh, she's on here talking to boys. Um, why you, you know, say she's black like that? No, she's <laughs> blacking. Oh, oh she's black. Like, like my baby mother called me black. <laughs> we have to let people know she's black. <laughs> she is. Okay. She is. You're not Alex. It's okay. Continue. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. It, you say my name Mouse, not Mousito. Yes. <laughs> so, but she was black and she's like, oh, she's talking to boys. Boys flirting with her. They flirting. That's going to happen. And I told her, I said, you got to let that happen. Mm-hmm. Nah, like, but not the no. Snapchat part. I don't agree with I don't, the I don't, Snapchat part. No, well, see, that's the thing. Now, Snapchat, social media... I don't let either of my kids have them until they're 13. Now, okay, 13, but here's what I'll you do. Make that so I let mine have it. And you know you can have multiple IGs on your on your phone. So she has hers on her phone. I have this, the logged in on mine. So when she gets a message, I see it first. Mm. And I open it and I read it. So that's how she got caught and her phone's been gone for a year. You got to let her. You got to let How old's your daughter? 14. She just turned 14. She's about, so to, go to, high about to go to high school. I watch you for it. And all I say to myself is, I, I said this, I, why do I got three daughters? Why do I got three daughters? Why do I got three daughters? Oh, you know. And I told my wife last night. I knew what to give you. I was a whore, but I don't think I deserve three daughters. And I told my I told my wife last night. I said, I'm 2019. And we have anxiety. You know how bad it is? It's not even like 1980. It's not even like 1980s. Remember 1980s where where like a nigga would be surprised his daughter a hoe? No. no, no. It's 2019. We could just turn the phone on. I don't know what type of hoe she gonna be. Oh, <laughs> that's shit. the level it can be at. What, yeah. le- what what level would bother you? What's the, what level of hoe? Man, would bother last you night the, 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 I saw an episode of Euphoria where this little girl left her. Oh my god! She was supposed to go to a party. This was the wild shit. She told her pops she was like, oh, "I'm going out to a party." Nigga. The pops was like, "All right, whatever." He ain't say nothing. She got on a bike. Why the fuck you gonna let your daughter leave the house on a bike in the middle of the night? <laughs> she goes to this dude house. This old no, the, man. It was a hotel. A hotel. It was a hotel. She, that was the only episode I seen. And the old man laid her on her stomach mm-hmm. and fucked her. For three nah, seconds. For three seconds. No. He gave no. her three seconds. And Yo, she took the dick. My daughter just got to New York right <laughs> she now. She like, like she took walk it. out of here and be like, what the fuck are you doing? And we're going to sit down and <laughs> no, have a you don't make tonight. her mad. She about to cuss her daughter out. Listen, her, what I'm her saying. Her daughter not doing she shit in New York. She's going to say, mommy. It's in diet. What I'm saying is you can't weep. Think about when we was kids. You couldn't hide nothing from now. I do agree that there is a certain level of... Of, it's like a rite of passage. You got to hide some stuff from your parents. But in this age we're in, we would mm. be doing ourselves and our kids a huge disservice if we tried to parent them with the antiquated ways of our parents. Agreed. I'm not no, trying to I'm parent them that. like my parent uh, parented me because I don't even do beatings and none of that shit like that. I but be my kid. I'm going to be strict girls. as a motherfucker. I'm going to be micromanaging the fuck but do you also out of my daughter. You're going to make it worse. Uh, because, so nah. this is this is a Think thing. Think about all the girls that you got to turn it, that you got to rebel against their parents. Think but I'm me. Girls, not only that, I can all, understand them all falling the girl, for me. All of the girls in the high school, school ain't no niggas out here like me. I know that. Oh there is no cool I niggas on Long Island. I know that. <laughs> but I know these little bum ass 12 year olds are getting in my daughter's head. So the way I'm going to cut them off I'm going to push her over there. Go ahead. Talk to his stupid no. ass. I don't th- I no, think- that's good. Because you know what? A, a child or shit, teenager, whatever the case, when you're told you can't do something, you want to yes. do it even more. No, so, for all of, so for all of my friends who could barely even spend the night at my house growing up, all them hoes got multiple kids. All of them. They were having kids in high school. We had a daycare at my high no, school high. where I went. So I, if, I, had my no, 12 year, I had my 12-year-old at 17. Like, I had my 18. I had an 18. Come on, shout out to you. Oh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't have the kid, but you know. <laughs> have you been with her all twelve years? I've had custody of her since she was three years old. Oh okay. wow! Shout out to you. Yeah, so like, there's like, I'm she she understands like, yeah. There's a certain there's a certain level of respect, but that you can't you can't wild yes, out. But what the fuck is going on? 
Are y'all Wait, trying to get me anxiety? What the what, fuck? What, y'all trying to get me a panic attack? Wait, what happened? <laughs> oh, well, all right. Some man, right, yo. Taylor, you stay fucking shit up, bro. <laughs> that, is, that, that is no time for No, go ahead. What you saying? Um, what I'm saying is you got to lean, not so much lean into it. You got to be as open or make your kid feel like you're as open with them as possible. Mm. Because it, this shit is, oh, this shit is a mental game. If a girl, me growing up, if a girl's dad or mom was mad strict, I knew I had an in. She's going to rebel. No, I see what you're saying. That's like when um when girls go off to college and they end up being whores if they mm-hmm. was like tied down when they was young. But all the girls that was just chilling and might have had one or two boyfriends, those were the ones that grew up in those households where we're looking like, yeah, yo, you was you was allowed to do that. Listen, maybe my my, my wife and my daughter have a different relationship. Me, I'm micromanaging the situation. I'm strict as fuck. And my 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 like my daughter. I want all my daughter to be bougie as shit. Okay, like honestly, my daughter's 11. She got passports. She done been. Mad places like like she got expensive taste, but so, that ain't always work. But man, you you see ATL right? Listen, she told me you yesterday. Look at Nunu. She, that's true. Nunu ended up with Ant, with with, that's with, true. with Anton. My wife told. I mean, yes. my daughter told me yesterday we was coming from Chile and <laughs> practice, and, and I was saying I was telling her I want her to keep my last name if she ever get married. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. And she was like, I'm not getting married. Good. We don't need to, uh-huh. We don't even need to continue. That's good. Cool. What if? I'm fine with what that. if? What if? Let's fast forward. She's 11. Yes. Let's fast forward. To her being 22, 23. Lord have mercy. Wanting to be a virgin in personality. Horrible decisions. Dog, shut the fuck up. Says, hey, we have this opportunity for you. We're getting older. <laughs> we want to keep the brand oh, alive. Oh, no, that's eight years from now. Hard decisions be, been played out. <laughs> so, a Caucasian woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Jazz, come over here. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz, what's up, Jazz, baby? Jazz is the somebody? real life euphoria. There we go. Oh, wait, what does that mean? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah, we got oh, you can use that mic. Oh, I got to do the portable. All right, cool. Now I don't believe I don't believe this bullshit that Taylor's telling me. What's to, what Taylor told you? Let me read that. We're going back Uh-oh. to the show. This is what Taylor told me. You from New Orleans? I'm from New Orleans. I heard that baby. Born and raised. Yeah. I, I mean, it was, listen, it Ta- Taylor said to me uh-huh. that your mother uh-huh. Uh-oh. paid a hotel to let you lose your virginity. What the fuck? Wait. Huh? So wait, my mother wasn't the one that rented the hotel. Are you but- next? No, I'm not mixed. Oh. I'm fully black. Don't make this white people shit. Black people <laughs> do shit too. about my hair, you know. Um, but no, my mom. So my boyfriend was in jail for eight months. At what age Can was this? Can we talk okay. age? <laughs> Let's start with the age. Okay, the age was 15. He was four months older than me, right? So my boyfriend was in jail. We met. I'll get my the... CBD, man. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the, first, <laughs> the first two months, the first two months that we started dating, I did not give him any sex. Right? So, as you shouldn't. Right, I was 15 years old. I never had lost my virginity or anything. He was trying. Da, 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 da. He ended up going How old to jail. He? he was 16. I was 16. 15. Okay. Right. So, by the time he got out of jail, I was 16 at this point. But I held him down for about eight months. I would never do it in my adult life. This is teenage life now. So, I held him down for about eight months. And I knew, and she knew that I was going to lose my virginity when he came home. The way we were sending each other letters back and forth, the way I would go upstate to visit him, my friend would drive me all the way up. She knew. She was like, all right, look, she has, I have a sister that's five years older than me. So, she kind of already knew, you know, the stages of life. So my boyfriend came Stages home. Stages of life. Right. So my boyfriend came home and um, his brother actually rented the hotel room. Um, my mom put me on birth control maybe like maybe two months prior. Why? Wow. Yeah. Can I can I ask <laughs> why? <laughs> Shut up. I'm dead ass serious. And it was the perfect night. Like I had, <laughs> I had broke my virginity the most perfect way ever. I had uh, rose petals on the bed. <laughs> and I was 16. Candles, like the lights were down. Your mom set all this up? No, no, no. The brother rented the hotel. I set it up. So he met me at the hotel once he got out of jail. But where did your mom come into play? She came into play because she knew I was about to lose my virginity. She put she me put on, on birth control. control. She, she didn't try and stop it. Exactly. That's what it was. So, <laughs> but I feel like I have a special case. I'm going to tell you why. Because I had. <laughs> I want to hear this case. I. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this because I can't really compare myself to anybody else's childhood, but I literally had to grow up before anybody else. Like when Katrina hit when I was 14 years old, like my mom like had three, four jobs. We was like on our own out there. When we moved back to New Orleans, we're all living in trailers and hotels. So you got to understand like the time period of. Which Orlando had Irma. I'm stressed. During the time, like it was, it was just different. Like the way our parents was moving with us. Like I told Taylor to this day, if my daughter ever came up to me and told me anything that I did to my mom, I don't know how I would react. But 
Again, and then Do you my think mom, that helped you or hurt you growing up? Oh, good question. Um, so my boyfriend was the only guy I was with all the way up to the day he died. And Damn, this get deep. What, what what year was this? This was 2009. That's the other day. I'm terrible at math. How old were you in 15? Uh, 2015. Now how old were you in 2000? How old were you when you lost your virginity? I was 15, so I was about 06, 07. Okay, so you was with him like later. three years later. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, And so he was the only guy I was ever with. He was my only boyfriend still to this day. Um, and I just think it was like one of those teenage love is just special. It was special. So if he was still alive, y'all might still be together. No, we wouldn't. Why not? Because the day after... No, 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 no. The day he died, I got a phone call from this girl. Ah, and shit. she told me what happened to my baby daddy. <laughs> I was 18 years old. That was the first phone call I picked up. It was 50 calls I had that was missed. And the first one I picked up was the girl saying, what happened to my baby daddy? And I was like, baby daddy? He didn't get time to tell you about her. He, oh. he, he didn't have time to tell me about her. <laughs> what if it wasn't his baby? The word is born. It ain't his baby. It, it, it isn't his baby. See, See what, what I'm saying? But so you, so you would have been with him. Yeah, but, terrible. but no, I would have left him because he knew that shit was out there. The girl was pregnant for 10 months and the baby was six months. You were pregnant for 10 months? months? 40 weeks. Well, you have, to be, you have to be pregnant for 40 weeks. I'm yeah, right. You're right, you're right. Nine months, right? She so why did yeah, he lie with the nine months? Most women don't go all the way to 40 weeks. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, I have an interesting little story, man. But yeah, so. All right. How does your mama feel about this t- right now? How you know does she feel so about putting you on birth control at 15? You know what's so crazy? Can I be honest How many sisters you? you got? Can I ask you how I you got are one now? Sister. So you're not... No, how I'm, did this shape you? <laughs> Later on. Well, Charlamagne, no, I have anxiety like crazy. I have the worst anxiety, I think, ever. I did the ketamine treatment and everything for my anxiety. But to go back to your question, my mom um, my mom and me best friends. My, mom's, my mom had me at 40. So I have an older Damn. mother. So oh, she's wow. 68 right now. And being older, she she was cool with it? She was cool with it. And that's like amazing. I like some, that. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's kind of wise if you're 50 something years old to put your daughter on birth control because you already know she's she gonna be fucking to anyway. And I was honest with her. I wasn't saying, look, mom, I'm about to go out here and be sitting on mad penises. No. I was like, this guy, I really love him. She saw the whole eight month span of me talking to her I like that but that's a conversation just like you said if you know what's gonna happen and you have three daughters I think instead of punishing them for exploring like you know what's gonna happen both of y'all were young we were all teenagers at one point niggas was like sucking titties behind the gym in middle school fuck all that I don't want to picture my daughter doing but it that. Happened. You don't have to picture it, but you know what's happened. So to, to not blind yourself from this, and thank you for your story. I, I love that you even had a mom that was willing to just be like, I know it's going to happen. And yeah. I think a lot of parents now just shield themselves from reality. Yeah. What you can't do, and, 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 and this is what I hate, what you can't do in this in this day and age you can't scream on one hand women's rights, black women's rights, support black women, but then restrict your kids, your mm. daughters yeah. from doing the same. And then and then complain about how you were raised. Agreed. You have to. I ain't got I nothing to do with dick and pussy rights. Right. And them Can I say this though? I had a friend. Hey, her what parents, was it? Sorry, her parents were so strict on her. Like she could not leave the house at all. She that used was to sneak out the window. And I'm not trying to, God forbid, sorry if you're hearing this. She was way wilder than me. She got arrested for smoking marijuana, sitting on a couple penises, and I was still with my one boyfriend safe at home. So I felt like my mom felt as if, if I know where my daughter's at and I know what she's doing, I'd rather me know than her being out there and me not know, and then she get caught up in something way bigger. A lot of my like anxiety of being a father does not come from the fact I know. Like, I've, I've fully accepted the fact that my daughter's going to suck dick one day. Okay. I'll eat some pussy. <laughs> All right. That's just, it's going to happen. <laughs> right. Every woman that I've ever been with has been somebody's daughter. I understand right. that. My anxiety comes from like somebody doing harm to her, you yes. know what I'm saying? Her, seeing her cry, come home. Yes, crying. it ain't about this. It ain't even about the sex. I'm talking about like, like I don't like her going to other people's houses like that. I don't know what the fuck house. they got going on over there. Right. You know what house, I'm saying? Sure. Like I don't, I don't just drop her off places. I don't do shit like right. that. So that's where my anxiety still, comes from. Still, same. There is, I'm still super overprotective. Where you at? Boom. Turn it. Mm-hmm. Like all of that. But I am, and it's a, it's a struggle. I don't want anybody thinking like, oh, that was good. To, I'm still working through it, but it's a lot easier to work through it when everybody else, my mom, her mother, that whole side of the family, real antiquated. Like, they're still acting like it's 1995. That's not a sitcom. Mm. I would, my daughter is going to be the woman she's going to be a lot longer than she's this child right now. Mm. So if I can help her find her way now, instead of having to go through that period where she feels nobody's there for her. I like that. I'd much rather that because yeah, you, it's going to yeah. save, especially with my daughter. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 
as you can tell, like, I don't got to go too deep. I done had custody of her since she was three. It That don't happen in New York. So you could... Or that, for a lot of men in any state. Anywhere. I was just going to say that. So that, or, so that already lets you know there was some fucked up... I'm not going... Everything I'm doing with her is going to be to combat her having to deal with any extra bullshit that's going to come from that other side of her You want to be her real friend. Like, that's the... Like, that's uh, like you don't want somebody manipulating your child exactly. when they're young. Exactly. The all these, because all she's doing is talking to a bunch of motherfuckers who don't know shit just exactly. like her. So if, I can come, so if you can come to your dad... Your dad, like, think about the levels in the layers of bullshit that we're breaking right now, right? I Mad women, that's my age, felt like they can't talk to their dad. Or, like Jad just said, or a lot of our homegirls, they didn't have dad growing up. You got a dad Why gotta be homegirls? Why you just couldn't say girls? Why you had to say homegirls? Well, I'm talking because I'm speaking about You're the women within my the negative proximity. negative stereotype that black men so, so, are not in the household for their daughters. I mean, mine wasn't. I, I said homegirls because that's who I know. I don't know everybody yeah. else's story. Oh, okay, okay. So most not, black women you're not, you know. You're not, you're not walking. I said homegirls. Hold on, most black women you I know. I said homegirls. Hold <laughs> 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 I'm prepared. I'm fully prepared today. The student is watching the teacher and he's ready. So most black women you know don't have fathers? I, w- I wouldn't say most. I, I think that's a, that's an egregious number. Yeah, or yeah, that's yeah. an egregious uh, acclaim. We don't know most I know women. a lot of women, mm-hmm. a lot of black women did not have the father at home. And I'm not, re- I'm not reinforcing that. Tell you got you got one, dad two, three, and four, five, six. Girl, dad. Daddy's girl. Married too. I got, I got child support, but he didn't grow up in the household. So that's one. What's half? Because she's half. Did you grow up with your dad? You? No. <laughs> Jesus. My father was killed when I was six. I'm a daddy's girl. So okay. there's two out of seven. Six. Six. Seven. Six. And it's, it's not a stereotype if it's true, but we breaking it's that not, cycle. But it's this not just, stereotype. This is one room, too. It's, it's also not stereotype. It's That wasn't a, me being stereotypical. It was just... Yeah. That is just something that was. I have a lot of homegirls who grew up without a dad. Or, yeah. Or a dad that was present but not present. You know what right. I'm saying? I got you. So if I can if I can fight that with my kids, with my two daughters that's here now and, and, and my kids that's to come, I'm gonna do everything in my power because then all of this shit I'm working for don't mean nothing. I think it makes a difference. I've seen myself who I was so close to my dad and I've had friends who didn't have their dad. And there is a difference in growing up. You respect like who you are a little bit more. And I'm like, it's not necessarily respecting. It's just like, you have a dad to go to. And it's that when guys are telling you certain things, you're like, but my dad does that. I remember me saying, my dad can give me that. I can go to my daddy. That's what I mean when I say I'm a spoiled mom. Like I I hug my daughters every day, tell them I love them. I tell them how beautiful I think they are. I think that's good that you do that. Like ain't no man going to be able to give them what I give them. And they're going to have their own. You will always be like, men had to compete with what my dad was giving me. But there's a part of that. Still, even after he passed away, it's like, my daddy did it for me. What what are you showing me? But there's a part of that that is it's very self-serving, right? And there's a part of that that we as men don't want to address that sometimes these humans are humans and no matter what we do, they're going to feel how they're going to feel. Miles, what else you want me to do? I've accepted the fact they're going to suck dick. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I don't do? want to think about my daughter sucking dick. I don't want to think about, daughter dick. I don't think about daughters and dicks. Own, I've accepted that I want to remove the thought of daughters and dicks from this room That's for what a talking moment. about though, right? I'm just saying as humans, right? Yeah. Because I don't know if y'all seen on Twitter like, I was hitting my home, like, it was a month ago. Like, I was hitting my home girls up. Scotty, everybody. Shout out to Scotty. I appreciate you. Shout out to Club Shout out to her what beautiful Because they Shout hit me out, and Scotty. was like, yo, bring her to me. Like, we'll chop it up. So, my daughter, my daughter is, uh, she, 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 she real light-skinned. She's part Puerto Rican, right? So, she's, and she's Hello. on Long Island. Your baby mama's Puerto Rican. My first baby mother is Puerto Rican. How many baby mamas you got? I got two. Okay. But my, 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 the mother of my youngest takes care of both of them. Because like I said, I had, I've had custody of the her since woman. she was three. The black woman. There you go. Well, black there we go. Strong always. black women. They, they always help They always. They always there. Always. always there when you need Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's, she's in Long Island, which is super segregated and racist. So she's literally going through it where she's not black enough for her black friends, not Spanish enough to hang with the Spanish friends. That was me. Right? So, But you're black and white. Black and white. I had the same problem. Oh, no, I, I had that problem Puerto like Rican big again. time. But that, what I'm saying, I what, I, what I'm saying is, she's dealing with that at 12. Mm-hmm. So I, I went through her iPad, just normal shit. I just happened to go through it. I'm like, yo, like it's her home girl, and her little home girl is like, uh, Mook, don't do nothing to yourself. I love you. You beautiful. So I gotta ask. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Oh wow. And then she had to tell me like, I don't feel as pretty as my friends. I don't feel as accepted. And I, just like you, I said, yo, I get you every pair of clothes you want. I tell you, you beautiful. I hug you. She is still a person going through her own unique experience. Hormones, too. All we can do is just be there. As long as we're there and creating an atmosphere where we're here to talk, but don't, but don't do that where we're like, 
Because that I had to stop myself. I was like, yo, but I do. I had to realize, not about me. Mm. It is not about me. And that's why I hit, I hit Scotty. I hit Chloe. And I was like, yo, I need, I trust y'all. I need y'all to talk to her, do something. Mm -hmm. Because there's just something about a parent that is very familiar to a kid. And when they're in those situations, they don't want to disappoint us. They don't, or they might just not want us to see them in that light. Mm -hmm. hey, so, shout out to you because some people don't realize that we we need our mothers. But at the same time, girls need their dads. It is imperative that we have our dads in our life to tell us that they love us, that we're beautiful, to give us that reinforcement that God we don't get anywhere right. else. And sometimes it might come from an uncle. And and that's cool because my daughter gets it from, my, from her uncle and from my dad at, in a very early age. But there's nothing like your father. And that's yeah. why I keep, I, I encourage, I want all my daughters to think they better than every fucking body. Fair. Okay, they shit don't stink. Right. I want them to look down upon people. I like that. I agree with that. I mean, I, I want just remember. I want, my, I want them to I just want you down to remember. upon people. I want you to remember that Nunu was in <laughs> Uncle Charles' basement. <laughs> Nunu, that, Nunu didn't have that relationship with her daddy. Yes, though. he did. No, not like that. They, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was rebelling. He was mean. He was rebelling. Mm. He was mean to her. He wasn't like, like I'm, I'm, I'm cool, Dad, but I'm still like, Strict with it, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I know, I know how to give my daughter just enough, and everything I give my daughter is rooted in blackness, meaning that mm -hmm. their names mm -hmm. are 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 Black Arabic, names, yeah. African. You know what I'm saying? Like the power comes from you know that, not the fact that you're just better than everybody because of what you may have in your life, because but because of your blackness. That's what that. makes mm -hmm. you better than I everybody. That. right. That's why I say don't let the little white kids touch your motherfucking hair. That's ever. your crown. I, I can't stand that, that shit. And my my youngest got a whole bunch of white friends. I'm like, I right, don't don't let them be touching. I your just sent my daughter in a black school for high school. She's been in the performing arts always with white kids. That's the neighborhood. I just put her into the high school she went to. I let my daughters okay. watch anything black. You know what I'm saying? Yes. From the hate you give. Like her, my daughter got a book bag that says I could do anything don't, with don't, a little black don't, girl don't, on don't it. Don't let them you when brown skin girl came on, I put that on mm -hmm. and let like like yes. death. Your your power is coming from who you are. Your culture. The way mm -hmm. God made you. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's where your power stems from. That's why like you're better that. than everybody. Not because of what you have or anything like that, but because of who you are. Right. I think you keep them in that mindset, everything will be A-OK. -okay. And don't let them watch fucking Euphoria. Shit. Let the girl watch Euphoria. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how many episodes she's Bro, in. I, here go, think about it like this. Boy, if, she, if, if you watch two, you don't watch one minutes. too many. Nothing on, tel nothing on television is worse than what they're seeing in real life. Trust me, life. I, I, you're, you're right, because I see it in the hallways of that school. I'm extremely and involved in that school. And if you say, don't watch Euphoria, guess what she's she going to watch She's going to watch it. She's going to watch the extended scenes. I'm going to watch it scenes. so we can talk about it. So I'm going to go watch it now so I can talk about it with you her. You don't know what Euphoria is about. Late. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Euphoria I, is about shit that I don't understand. Yeah, just let her have it. I'm being honest. It's shit. I'm, like, I'm like, I wasn't doing none of this shit. Um, I never did coke. Me neither. I never was on the Mollies and none of that shit. Oh, I used to like, sell them shit. Either. Miley's? Yeah, when I was in Miami, I left bartending and... To become a drug dealer? I mean, I... So... <laughs> <laughs> I only... I only bought, like, one... Like, one, one yeah. Pack? Yeah, one pack. And, so then, I can't, and then it got serious. Like, like... The white boy wanted me to sell his. I was like, no, I ain't going to sell yours. We both went half on it. Like, I'm not going to get into my drug dealing story. But, yeah, and then... So niggas used to ask for you? What? Yo, yo, so, what big shit, yo? What a yeah, big shit to <laughs> 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 So when they came to pat you like, down, you used to put it in your rolls? Nah, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not fucking with y'all. I'm not no. fucking with y'all. Fuck Frank, you didn't have rolls. That's the fuck she did. I didn't have rolls, Frank. Well, she was used one big circle? You didn't have no rolls? It was a globe. You know what? They look hefty and just like... No, she was. She was a globe. Yeah. Yeah, I was solid. You were solid. I was solid. <laughs> so when'd you stop selling drugs, man? I Quick. oh, this was in what 2012, right before I moved up here. I've learned a lot about y'all today. <laughs> Hard boiled dick and Molly. <laughs> Did y'all see the Lion King? Not no, yet. I haven't. I'm, no, saying, not I'm, yet. I'm saying I'm saying today. Oh, nobody saw it. Nah. I'm saying today. No, my dad. I mean, but I seen the original. I right, did see the, the original, story. right? And they change something. I mean, it's, it, it don't have the soul of, of the original, they but do. I don't want to. I don't want to put nothing negative in your uh, head if y'all haven't seen this shit. I mean, well, I thought there it's was the same story. changing in it. With, no. no, it's in no. All the soul is in the Beyonce album, The Gift. That's what all the soul is. Oh, but it's in really. It's in C. So you it's don't a feel real it time. When, like, you're not going. Scarlett's gonna go. You don't, you don't even cry. I I I cry. No, that shit. It lacks all of that. You weren't going to do it because it was a real. It it's CGI. Like it takes all the. Watch the original. 
No. Every, I cried. I, I still cried during the cartoon. Every time I yeah. watch The Notebook, I cry. I, I know laugh. what the story I is hold, already. I, ain't certain... hold I laugh when, when Scar um, killed You laugh when he left. I've always, always, always liked the bad guy. You're a serial, serial killer. The bad, guy always, the bad guy, especially in Disney movies, are always the best characters. And huh? we never get their backstory. Like, it's Ooh. always... I didn't like Scar because Scar was a lame bad guy. Scar was a bad so guy that lame. made things worse. I like people like Nino Brown or... Scar Dino. was Nino Brown. No. Nino when B- Scar got in power, shit went left. When Nino hit his peak, shit went left. Shit went left with Nino when the, his crew around him started fucking up. When G-Money no. started fucking up. So the hyenas ain't fuck up? Nino that was took- the crew? See, and then Nino nah, got Nino hot. Were retarded. So the Nino hyenas. couldn't move the way he was moving before. Problematic. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, when Nino got hot, I like Thanos. Thanos had a real Thanos plan. is a great, he's one of the great, Thanos is a great villain. Joker, the greatest villain in all like of history. Thanos he, the illest one, though. Nah, he, Joker's way I'm going to tell you why, because right now, if we could wipe off, it, we really do need to wipe off about half of these motherfuckers on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> a side, we could get rid of about a, Thanos didn't do it the right way, though. Thanos? He was That's supposed to take out all the white people. A couple. We leave a few. <laughs> leave a few. You can leave Chris Moore wrong. <laughs> He's not white. He's not Chris, white. what are you? He's, 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 he's Asian and Jewish. He is Asian. I forgot. <laughs> Chris is Asian. Yeah. Chris is Asian. Chris is Asian. Just leave, leave a few. Wait a minute. And that's one so third if, of the globe. So if he took out some of the white people, so would Mandy just be walking around half? No. <laughs> <laughs> or would you have she to just mer- lost weight. Oh. <laughs> She'd be looking just the way she is now. <laughs> this is Mandy with the white person faded away in her. Or would there have oh to be God. like, or like Mandy and Weezy would like, we look at like, like conjoined twins. Would oh, they just be together? You ain't shit. We don't, listen, we gotta get rid of some of these niggas too. Please. I agree. Some. I'm telling you, a lot. A Alex, would, time Alex time would have one. to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you might have to go, bro. Just a little bit. Damn. But I, I, I think that, you know who else was <laughs> ill? Killmonger was ill. Kill, kill, in the oh, comic book. Michael B's Jordan's Killmonger was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Was really? It? Terrible. Why you really? That? Why? Uh, he was trying to. It, it, it wasn't a natural. Everybody else's performance in that movie was so natural. Oh. He felt forced. Now you're coming you like Forrest Whitaker's accent? I thought that was I the mean, worst thing the, in the I, movie. I, I'm not from Africa, so I don't know the difference. Oh, yeah, of, I didn't know either. Of the accents. Well, so, so maybe after I go to Africa and come back, because I got a passport now, um, <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll have a different outlook. Yeah. But I didn't know no different. Like okay. I, I was like, oh, okay, that's I guess that's how it was sound. So he, Wakanda, well, he wasn't hood enough. For, like, what part of his character was, did like, you it not? Did, it just wasn't believable. Like, hey, auntie, <laughs> hey, auntie. Like, what the fuck? It sounded like he was I like the idea of what he was trying. to I like to do, the though. idea. Just letting Wakanda mm. know y'all the most powerful nation in the world. Y'all can help so many black people around the country, around mm. the world. That's what y'all should be doing. I like that idea. I like the idea of that. I I like the idea of Killmonger. I get what you're saying about his acting, but the, the acting, the portrayal of it wasn't good. The, like I said, Killmonger in the comic books, another fire um, villain. He was. The, see, we, what we all got to realize is the only time Michael B. Jordan looks natural is when he's around white women. So what we need <laughs> to do, what, like, of course he's going to be uncomfortable on black men. You know what that's I'm saying? Why he, that's why Creed was so weird. Yes. See him with a black You've seen him with a black woman all that white was women. A but then there was that movie he, he was in, he was in with Zac Efron. He looked. I was like, I like this movie because he was Dana Wayne. <laughs> That's well, why I gotta at, give him a chin. You look at Michael on his Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you the best acting job he ever did. What's that video where he's with that white girl doing push ups? Uh, white girl yeah, in the green fire. dress. Yo, that was fire. You never seen him look that natural. That was fire. He never looked more comfortable. <laughs> never looked more comfortable. He's a great actor. It's just that I don't feel you like gotta a, set, you got to put him in the right setting. You got to put him in the right setting. So it's so it's white people. That's it. Yes. That's all. Okay, got you. He's Carlton. That's it. He's Carlton. He's 2019 Carlton. Okay, That's it. I can dig that. That's it. I mean, uh, 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 the movie about Oscar Grant, too black. Yeah, that was real black. I, 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 I didn't I buy, him. Black black I didn't buy him, him as the Oscar. Movie, the, the movie, movie was good. and the story carried it more than his. 100%. He Sometimes didn't the feel comfortable. He was 100%. young and he was around too many black women and in that movie. His mother wasn't white. That's what I'm saying. Wait till y'all see him play a role when he got a white leading lady. We all oh, he went to Oscar. Be good. <laughs> That's how good Michael B. Jordan going to be in that motherfucking movie. So what black movie. person could he portray that you think would be good? Mm. What black person he could portray that would be Somebody good? that's mixed? No. No, somebody that's Cuba Gooden Jr. biopic, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something like that when that happens. Tiger Woods. 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 Tiger Tiger Woods. Woods. That's your role. That's a good one. That's your role. Let's go. Yo, y'all listen to us. That's your role. We need a royalty on yeah. that. Yeah. That's your role. I don't even want the royalty. We I care about the community. I care about the culture. I think that story needs to be told. Let's do it. Let's raise. Let's start the Patreon. Michael B. Jordan is Tiger. Tiger. Tiger Woods. Yes. Yeah. I would done yet. I'll watch that. Yeah. 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 I would watch that, and I know he'd kill. He'll kill it, man. I promise you. The next time when we finally see Michael in a role, and he's playing opposite a white woman 
It's going to be the greatest acting role of his life. <laughs> Mark my words. a great point because Cuba did damn good as, as OJ. 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 He Amazing. did great. I was like, how the fuck? First of all, how did friends. you do this? <laughs> and then I realized, That's white women. That is true. Because he had a lot of stiffness in Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Nia, no, Nia was not was doing really it for stiff. him. Nah, bro. <laughs> Think about nah. it. The scene that everybody makes fun of, him punching the air. Nobody believed that. No, <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you why that was the best scene. Because he was like, fuck, I got to live with this white, this black girl before the movie's over. They're going to make me act like I'm sleeping with her. That's why that shit was the best fucking shit. <laughs> I agree. Radio. 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 Oh, radio yeah. was good. Radio was good. Never it saw was radio. Great. Radio oh, was good. It was you don't, such you such didn't miss anything. You, no, that was with Sandra Bullock? No, it's no, when no, he's, like, when he was he's, he's like a little slow. Uh, yeah. This R word. <laughs> you, oh, you you've been that? talking about I fucking people in the ass all the time. I mean, I'm trying yeah. to Why did you say the R Because word? apparently I'm the problematic one, so I'm trying to like trying to clean up a little I bit. I think you can say It's retard. a word for it now, but I can't remember what it mental is. Mental retardation. So what do you Wait, that's the word? Nah, it's something else. Like mentally dysfunct or something. I don't remember what it is. Disabled? Out of order. I don't know. White. I don't want that. I'm going with, I'm going with white. Here. There's something. I'm dead. Listen, man, give me your Twitters and stuff. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'll start it off. Um, full court, full court yeah, plump. Full court plump. <laughs> Not plump. Fuck y'all. Y'all can find me on all social <laughs> platforms. That's um, Twitter, YouTube, and um, Instagram at Full Court Pumps. You can also check out my podcast. It's every Monday we drop horrible decisions. That's spelled W H O R E. So type in whore, we pop up, and that's horrible decisions. Check me and my co host Wheezy every Monday talking about a little bit of the things we talked about today on today's show. And we got some episodes with Mouse that you could check out where you could hear the thieving story. Emphasis on co-host. She doesn't want y'all to get it confused with friend. <laughs> you so Lock it out, bro. Lock it out. So we are going to be editing great. this episode, goddamn. But no, check us out. We do have some episodes with Mouse <laughs> and his co-host, um, the Kelly and Michelle, who wasn't right. able to make it today. Um, so go ahead and shout your shit out. That's crazy that Mac Wilds is Kelly and he got all the acting roles. <laughs> it's not. It's not podcasting, baby. <laughs> when it comes to talking in front of these microphones, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. yeah, that nigga shut him down. Said you can't talk when they came on. Oh, our show. he didn't say nothing. He was mute. Matt? I'm just saying yes, that Matt nigga said talk. I gotta listen to him he really bowed down to, to Mouse on our show he did bow down is a wrong I mean defer that's, okay de defer he did a Michelle move there like it was definitely Beyonce and he Michelle he said bitch stop talking get to the back it's my Damn. show that's that what he did that, to Mac that did not happen but close enough in these situations <laughs> when Mac was new to broadcasting and mm. podcasting and, and this media th stuff he deferred to me because in this instant he didn't defer you told him shut up I, I didn't do that don't speak what would make Mac want to do a podcast if you don't talk if you're not good no, at talking he, he, it's not that he's not good he was new to it like gotcha, so, gotcha, so gotcha. Guys Next Door came about because like most people say podcasts come about like these conversations we were having but we would have them in like open spaces and like we'd be in Dumbo House having these conversations and now everybody want to come over and listen it, it was just it just made sense it was like alright well uh, the people Anchor gave us an opportunity it was like it makes mad sense. Like, why Why wouldn't we do that? He not scared to, like, talk? No, and that's the best part about him. Okay, that's why okay. I wish he would have... Thanks, Taylor. I wish he would have been here today because he's not scared to talk about it. And that is... I think when people who think like that, like most of his fans, like, oh, we'll never get the real... No, he's out there talk, giving you real instances in his life. Yeah. He's talking how you would not expect someone who's on 90210 and all these platforms to speak. Yeah. So it's really good. Give he's me grown. a this Musk. You find me, Mouse underscore Jones, on Twitter, Instagram. Um, guys Next Door, um, every Monday. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we be competing. That's why your numbers mm -hmm. ain't like mine, but it's cool. It'll get there. Nah, Guys Next Door numbers are cooking, but it's all, all right. right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I used to have a podcast on Live Speaking Network. I don't know what happened. What um, happened? I don't know. You gotta ask Chris. Chris Chris must have known the end of the show was coming, so he, he went out the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, but shout out to the team. Um, yeah, and then Trap Karaoke. Make sure you follow Trap Karaoke. Yes. Um, it was so www.trapkaraoke.com. Best show on earth. See when we're coming to your city next. Carla? All platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Carla Wilmaris. And you can find me on I'm one half of Shed I'm 30 Podcast every Tuesday that comes out. And now I'm doing podcast consultation. I've been doing them now for about six months. So people want to start podcasting. They're like, oh, it's oversaturated. It's not. Just put your content out there. See where it goes. If you have a business, just put it out. And most people don't know where to start. Man, if this so, shit flop, nobody heard it anyway. Right. <laughs> right. That's so all I said. You can, you it's go. not expensive to start one. So just hit me up and we'll do that one-on-one -on -one consult and we'll get it just going for you. Come here, yes. Jazzy, baby. E Give me Twitter, e baby. Um, so my Instagram, my Twitter, and my YouTube is Jazzy TV. That's J A H Z E T V.
I gotta have Jazz in here and just talk to Jazz because Jazz got some wild shit going and on. And her I need story, to... I like <laughs> it. Are, but her story. And then her accent, I can listen to that all day. Yes. Don't try to yeah, fuck baby. Jazz, okay? Calm down. On, I, 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 I don't she sit here and try to future. fuck off on everybody. Calm down. She got a hard boiled dick with you. I just had. To... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Go ahead. Y'all she know where to catch Charlemagne and listen to the Britney. She's not as fuck, so be careful. You know. You will know. You'll know when Mandy wants you. I don't even know what to say. Fat PST, uh, PTSD uh, and hard boiled dick. <laughs> Am I fat? No. <laughs> You'll know when Mandy wants you. She makes it very known. Really? Thank you. Yeah, she is aggressive as fuck. Come, Has she ever taken you? She tried probably about she I tried, about seven years ago. Yeah, I'll try and then if I don't get a bite, then all right, next. Why you want to bite the clip? She's fat. <laughs> she's fat. She was fat. You want to get a bite when you talk about eating pussy. No, nah, no, nah, I'll take a bite. Like I'll, I'll test the she waters. She gets the hand I... after about three years. How do you? Yeah. What's the aggressiveness? Gonna give a little bit the aggressiveness. She'll just grab you. Oh, I'm gonna do you. Oh, you so fine, girl. You so fine. I like, let you know you're fine. Like she sexually harassed the man the I other did. day. At we the went Nas to the Nas album, album release party. I just let him know he's beautiful. No, that's not sex- She yeah, let him we know he's beautiful. Nas. She walked by him, grab his hand. You're so first beautiful. First off, he approached me first. I just let him know after the Nazir. Like as a Nazir Jones. As a Nazir Jones. Yeah, we grab your dick if you love Nas. I did not try to fuck Nazir Jones. Absolutely not. That would be right up his alley he yeah that's terrible baby mothers I so you cannot stand right. you Whoa, do you hear don't this? do my friend like that she'd you be don't? a great mother no, if she, she was not, one he'd be a terrible baby mother she'd be a good mother right there. listen if, I'm bad if as Nas fuck. thought that. she was attractive that means she, that's a bad baby mother <laughs> nah Khalees beautiful and um, this is bi- and as Carmen as is no, pretty beautiful no, they're beautiful but terrible, terrible baby mothers oh uh, I don't know I would never be a terrible baby Carmen all I'm gonna say is me and the boy I read her book yeah I read her book how was it I didn't like it. I mean, I, you know what it was? She's the original April Jones. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yo, oh, so Omar has been mother. And Omar and 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 Lil Fizz. She was patting her pussy oh, on I remember her. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see I didn't see nothing wrong with what she did. Me neither, I mean, but, she but, was, you don't see nothing wrong with her fucking I actually man? liked what she was saying because she was saying, yo, this man deserves the pussy. Like that's what it should <laughs> be. Just, you should be giving it to guys who deserve it. So, it don't matter. Is uh, <laughs> she your baby father's friend? friend? But like, they co-workers, essentially. Yeah. It's if too close. If he's worthy of the pussy, he's worthy of the pussy. I mean, oh, who's, to tell, who's to tell her who's worthy of it? Absolutely. Okay. Her baby yeah, father. Like, and clearly, no. Omarion and dude got some type of understanding. Had no. Right. What that means is, Fizz, when they was growing up, must have beat his ass. <laughs> like, there's niggas right now that, like, there's this nigga, Tomahawk. He fucked me up as a kid. Like, I lost two fights growing up, and he was the worst. Like, the nigga hit me so hard. Yeah. The rumor around school for a month was that he put me in a garbage can. <laughs> I said, no, I put myself in a garbage can because I was trying to dodge the next hit. Yeah. And you felt If I see that nigga ever again, it's going to be so much calmness. Bro, how are you? <laughs> and we don't know if Omarion and Fizz really peoples like that. No, they might just be in a group together. Fizz beat him up. And Omar knows there's nothing he could do with him. So but you got to listen to him. You're on stage, like grinding and doing the whole dance moves. And you just and you look over there. He's like, you just look over there. Like, that's what you're doing to my baby time mother. They have slept yeah. with the same not, person. No way. It's but not. that's oh, the baby Christo. mama. Christo, allegedly. Right, 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 right. right, 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 right. Oh, wow. So they've been yes. Eskimo brothers. That's what I'm saying. Right, right, right. That's all it is. Like, come on. Okay, so no wonder no wonder they're cool now. Because, like, we shared dick before. Don't call me problematic again. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's the rumor. I'm just saying, if you, you know, that's because the rumor. Because uh, uh, allegedly she slept so with Fizz, so allegedly. No, she probably made it, like, All clear. I see they is fucked. one big happy family. Good as Lord. As long as they can do it. I mean, Alicia Keys and no, th- them different. do it. What do they do? <laughs> the, they have a blended family. Yeah, but that don't mean they fuck. That don't mean they Yeah, but Mashonda and Alicia Keys I'm, weren't friends. They, they weren't, weren't co-workers. The B and B two kid have to stand I mean, for blending. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay. I figured maybe they could just do it. They're adults now, you know? I Nah. Well, you, you well, somebody needs a Yama. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys. Right. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 